we are officially back. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we took a small hiatus because we had to figure out we're scheduling. Running from the law. Yeah. No. Yep. yep no. Yep, we were in Colombia. No. <laughs> and, uh, mm. They're hot on our tails. Yeah. <laughs> they almost got us. Uh, the fucking but, uh, IRS, bro. No, we are. They want us. Hiatus. They want us bad. Small hiatus, and we're back. We're feeling good. It's a rainy day over here where yeah, we it's are. Gross it out. is disgusting. Uh, the Perfect hurricane. Day. Passing by, I think it is, and it's just disgusting. Anyone out there getting hit by the hurricane? Good luck. out by us? I th- yeah, I, mean, I think so. We're near us Wait right a now. second, hold on. I think so. I could be uh, completely wrong. Honestly, I think so. could be fake news. What happened? I feel like today would be a perfect day for a live stream. A live stream? Uh, mm. On what? It's a rainy day. <laughs> we have to make a Twitch account right now. Yeah, a live stream on no, what? No, we just live stream on YouTube. Yeah. No, you need a certain amount of subscribers. Ah, uh, uh, well, yeah, you, you need 1,000 you know, subscribers. You guys yeah. know what to do then? Yeah, yeah. come on. Hit that That's not our fault. This is button. your fault. Hit that subscribe <laughs> button and hit that subscribe button. How many subs button. is it? It's 1,000. And what is it? Like, it's probably, I think it's like shorts views as well, right? Something uh, like that. A million shorts views or 100,000 short oh views. God. Yeah. Which is, you'll be surprised. It's not really no, that shorts bad. Shorts get a lot of views. Yeah. And on top of that, I think <laughs> they say like the hardest hurdle to go over is 1,000 uh, subscribers. Once you get past that, it's like not as bad. So they say. Yet again, we only have 35, which uh, means, you know, you should probably subscribe. Yeah, please. But, um, and follow your Instagram channel. Boom. I'm going to edit that in. That's why I pointed. <laughs> You're going to put it right there? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I was like, edit that is in. something supposed to happen? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to edit that in. But um, topics to talk about today, I wanted to point this out because uh, we're down a member today. So I was, uh, my mom. Yeah, everybody rest. Uh, you guys have in, younger siblings, Rest right? in peace to. No, to, no, to, he didn't make it out of Columbia. Rest, rest in peace, bro. <laughs> they they got his ass, bro. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> he, he held the bridge, the bro. The law got the gave law, us, bro. Gave us time to get <laughs> out of there. It's just, He's it's a hero in my heart. Spider-Man picture of him pointing to himself. Resting himself in the mirror, bro. <laughs> but um, no. What I was gonna say is, you guys have younger siblings, right? Yep. Right. So you know that meme of like parents like forcing younger siblings on like to hang out with you or something. Have you ever had that where yeah, your mom yes. was like, "Take your little brother with you, take your well, little sister with you"? Yeah, I haven't had it because I have the little sister and the older brother. So you the older have brother was my like, brother, "Ask my older you. brother." My older brother was question. like, "My mom was like, take your brother with you," <laughs> and I was like, eh. <laughs> and I'd go flopping around. So today we're down a member, and I was like, "Yeah, we need a fourth And my mom was like, "Take Augustine." Oh man. <laughs> I would have taken Augustine. I was like, we should have taken Augustine. I was bro. like, what? She's like, yeah, take your little brother with you. He has to go outside. I was like, what's he gonna talk about? <laughs> he has to go outside. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, little fourteen. I was like, what are we gonna talk about? Like, little dudes in mad school. school. <laughs> it's like, he's gonna be great. It's you be getting bitches, bro. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> like, dude. And I go to the room. I go, do you want to be our fourth? He looks at me. He just woke up. It's like eleven forty. He's like. <laughs> No, <laughs> I was like, all right, goodbye, goodbye, buddy. And then, and then she goes, where are you going? I was like, I'm going to go to the podcast. She goes, oh, I thought you were going to the gym. Take your little brother with you. I was like, no, <laughs> leave me alone, bro. <laughs> just keeps forcing him on me. I was like, okay, he's at that age, and I guess I'm at that age where he's just like, I love how she asked you, like, yeah. oh, I thought you were going to the gym. Yeah, take your little, little brother with you. Take your little brother. Take your little brother with you. Take your little brother with you. So I was just like, you're not going right. to the gym. Take him. So I was just like, yeah, I, I, I found it so funny because it's just such a meme thing to do. And she's just forcing him to hang out with me. And I'm like, man, there's a big age gra- gap here. I don't know if he could really hang out with me like that. But I thought about well, it. I think and it's I was you like, that yeah. can't hang out with him, bro. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> I, I mean, we yeah, it would have been – a guest would be nice. Uh, eventually, we're going to get into that. Yeah. Um, yeah, Brian, you're on our list now. Yeah, Brian. Brian's going to have to be first guest or someone. Um, He's on the list, bro. Definitely. I mean, we- listen, if we – he said – he all he said today was he, he didn't manage his time correctly. He said he would probably do it – he could have done it later. Which uh, I would have been okay with doing, yeah. but, but um, I what? mean, yet again, I could probably just ask him, be like, "Yo, yeah, you should through. text him, and come mid mid freaking session." And then, but what I was thinking is like, for ev- eventually in the future, I would have like, I would like to do like an interview style mm. where yeah. you just have like a a person, that's not an I'm interview that, per se, but like yeah, just, just having someone on. to talk about with. Low key, yeah, that's why I was gonna say like Nicole would be a, a pretty yeah, good she, guest. Yeah, she's, she's funny. She's funny and we it's vibe a girl. with her. Yeah. And it's a girl. <laughs> wow. I'm <Probably> gone. <laughs> yeah, we have girlfriends, dude. I swear. <laughs> no, we but, don't. Um, no. <laughs> she is yeah, handing her don't. money afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much Thanks, for coming thank you, by. Thank you. We appreciate really appreciate that. it. <laughs> <But> <laughs> next week, I think Murphy's in. If we yeah. do do next week, Murphy said uh, Vega, uh, the drummer for Vega Maestro, a local band of ours, he said he was in. Um, and I would, I think that's a great oh, for yeah. us. Murphy it's a good great, dynamic. Huh? It's fun. You know, with Brian, I was thinking about some topics to talk about with him because I know he's into some sports and I know he likes photography. So I was thinking about looking into that kind of stuff. We'll, I love we'll Brian. We'll discuss that later. Yeah, I love that, Brian. We'll talk about that later. Be but um, as far as like interview style for the future of the podcast, I definitely would like that. Yeah, we yeah. just have people on. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be pretty dope. 
But for now, it's just got to be us three. We got to do what we got to do. Whenever there's a guest, I would love to rotate it. Eventually, maybe we might even need a fifth mic. Because yeah, of, like a uh, guest mic. Yeah. Yeah. But for now, I don't know how we'd go rainy about doing days, that. and we're getting through it. So, topic of the day today. I know you guys have been so. A couple episodes ago, we talked about Boulder Gate. Boulder's oh, Gate. Yeah. Boulder's Gate three. three. And Matt was like, "I don't think I would like it. I don't think I would do it." Now, oh, that's right. How I many hours do you have on that game? I, think I have over like a hundred. I, I think I have over. I think I have like two hundred and twenty hours that's on it insane. now. Insane. Definitely have over a hundred. That's hours. that's check. that's what is we've that been spending all of our time doing. That is literally all we do. We come home from work. Yeah. And we just start playing. I call this dude nine on my way he home calls from work me, he every calls day. Me nine to five, he straight texts to a five every nine. Day. <laughs> every day. We go right back to I work, bro. Jesus out, Christ. I could be hanging out with someone. He'll call. He'll text me. That's what he does. I'll blow up That's what he does, I don't dude. Care. Blow up my dude, phone. He blows up your phone, right? I don't dude, care. Dude, I was playing Terraria with this guy, and he was waking me up while I was sleeping, bro. Yep, yep. He'd be like, bro. I'll wake this dude up 7 a.m., He'd be like, bro, please just turn on the server, bro. Just leave the server on. Leave the computer on, bro. I got to get on, bro. I have a hundred running. I bro. I get itchy. And 55 hours. You have an addiction. He has an addiction, this guy. So you have a hundred and what? 155 hours on Baldur's Gate. So, lightweight. From your perspective, you originally weren't into it. Now you're super into it. What 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 caught you about the game? Uh, it's literally visual Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. It's just that. It's a masterpiece. It's really. It's a masterpiece. Like imagine instead of you having to like, we played Dungeons and Dragons before. I love Dungeons and Dragons. But it's not. It's like. It's like that, but a much more. You don't have to do any of the roles. You don't have to do any of the math. I'll be, I'll be it, honest with you. Makes it fun. I love the roles. I love. Doing I love roles. doing the roles. That's what makes it fun. When you I'm play like, Dungeons come on, D twenty, and we're all like, ah. I feel like the, I feel like the combat with the way it's set up in the game. It's beautiful. It's just like it's beautiful. It's, That's probably it's, more entertaining. It's more. It's animated. It's faster. It catches your eye more because yeah. it's visual. You see but what's happening. Like I was just saying, it's um, like when you're in a town, you're able to go through. Everything in that game, so literally every that, that's almost my every thing building. Where, but when we play mm. Dungeons and Dragons, it's just like, oh, you're in this town. What do you do? And mm. you're like, like I'm just br- I break into every building. Do? Mm. That's up to the DM, really, I guess, right? Yeah, I like, put more yeah, detail on the town. Because you could be like, there's a tavern, you, there's a mall, there's this. Where would you like to start? Are you thinking about this? There's people. Right. They look like this. You know, I, I feel, feel like, like another big thing is. All four of the players can just go off in the town and do their own thing. Whereas yeah, like in regular that. Dungeons and Dragons, no, you can do that too. You can do that too, but it you have to like if one guy's talking to the dungeons ma- the dungeon master. Yeah, you, you have to wait time. for them to finish for yeah. you to do something else. Yeah. When in the game, everybody's do doing shit at the same time. So like, yeah, Matt will be talking to a trader. I've got my sticky little fingers in his back pocket, mm. or I'm sticky over breaking fingers. into a building. It's what I do. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah. I steal. I you steal so steal. bad. I love it. I think, yeah, I think every character Minu has played is a, a rogue. Some, uh, you, some you, version you of a rogue. You like, switched playing, over to the rogue. We're playing a bar- druid, bro. Now, me and him are playing a, our, a play through just the two of us. And, it's great. And, uh, it's great. He's playing a barbarian, and he was like, nah, I want to lockpick stuff. I want to steal. So yeah. Yeah. No, listen. Puts, okay, listen. The only reason... That was that was just a plus. Put levels into the, rogue the, as a I barbarian? Did, I did three levels of... I did three... Listen. I did three levels of rogue. I took the thief subclass. That gives me two bonus actions. As a barbarian, gives me two bonus as I as a barbarian, <laughs> when I rage, I can do an attack yeah. using a bonus action. Wow! So instead of having two attacks, yeah. when I rage, I would have three. Now I have four raging. Four attacks in so one turn. Four. Also four a, attacks. Also four. It's crazy, bro. Mad. He's it's also a throwing barbarian. Yeah. So I, all I, I do is throw. You throw four things. Now. I, I throw. Love. I throw four things. I throw four people. I oh throw my everything. God. That's insane. We are almost. We are on We've the last been act. Sweeping. What? We are on the last act. Me and him. Mm-hmm. We're almost level. Holy uh, shit. We're almost level twelve, which is the max level. Really? I, I do. We still I, have a lot to do, though. I don't know if the uh, game has so much content, dude. It's so much. That's why I can't get through it. Act three is. Huge. I'm not gonna give any spoilers away because there's probably people playing it. And yeah, whatnot, yeah, yeah. It's still, it. it's still pretty popular. It is insane. Huge. How, yeah, it's it's ginormous. It's enormous. So many things to do. So many things. Like just dragons there's, and just slaying. Uh, we haven't. We uh, well. <laughs> I mean, from there's only. I mean, yet again, I've I seen don't more dungeons spoilers. than dragons for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. That's yeah. it's very. I've seen it's not dragons. Called dungeons and dragons. I've yeah, had two very, dragons. Yeah, that's why it's not called Dungeons and Dragons. Not enough dragons, too many dungeons. Called Dungeons and Dungeons. <laughs> like that's it. <laughs> Baldur's Gate three. No, so let me ask you something. What what cat? What caught you like? What 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 aspect of it do you like the most? Like, do you, is it an environment thing that you did? I is think it, the story is good. I think is it's it's the everything. combat is good. 
all of those. For me, the combat could be a little slow sometimes. Uh, so th- that that well, comes you the, the the thing. I feel like the thing with that is you haven't really played that much, right? When you play, yeah, once I, you I get like once you get sixteen a feel, hours, yeah, that's not enough. But when it's you not, play, it's when not. you play more of it, you really start to the combat is very alone fluid. Definitely picks, definitely gives you a big. Yeah. I just got a second attack, and that made it a lot. Better personally, right. yeah, like second, attack, second attack is so much better. To, you know, I just sit but, um, there for like fifty it minutes. Definitely, it it's definitely gets more fluid when you play it more. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's like the one yeah. thing that I always say to you because mm-hmm. I would really like to continue our playthrough. I definitely I'm so can. down. I'm we so down. Can. I mean, my internet's continue. out right now because my uh, power line in my house across the street went on fire last night. Oh yeah, it's because I was pulling Dude. the couple copper wire out. Sorry about so you that. You got to be more careful. Yeah, yeah. I must so, have pulled the wrong one. Yo, it's Sorry about that. must have pulled the wrong one for the whole place. <laughs> my fire. fault. My so fault. my internet's out for about one or two days. So I get it back tomorrow, which yeah. sucks. I have schoolwork to do. Mm. So I'm going to have to go to s- s- my school and then oh. go in there. Yeah, oh, oh. And then I have to probably steal their internet. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. <laughs> and their copper wire. But uh, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it blew my expectations of the game. Like I was, that's, I was really, great. I was really hyped for uh, Armor Core 6. That came out did you get it? Ago. I did get it. Great game. Any uh, any feedback on it? I I mean I haven't played it that much because I've been playing Baldur's Gate Three. Bald. Yeah, it's got us good. I can't help that it. That game's it's got a fucking thing. grip on wow. us. And once me and Matt's playthrough is done, honestly, I'm so ready to just start another one. That's yeah. crazy. I'm so ready. To I think there's so much content. I, bro, I'm on like eight fucking playthroughs right yeah, now. That's crazy. We're doing a lot. I have my solo playthrough. I have the one with him. I have the one with him, Mike, and and Berto. I have the one with him. Berto and Maggie. Oh yeah, you're on that one. Have, now. We have ours, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and then th- they finally added the feature that we were talking about uh, that we've been asking for. Where removing, removing. Oh a, a yeah, you can take people no out. No way. Yeah, they did oh it. my god, dude! I have been begging for that. They did it. I don't has. understand what was. What's the point of even having that, dude? They really did that. Yeah. That's yeah. so fucking good. Yeah. Like the the it, they the game really feels like they listen to the feedback. Like yeah, glitches. It's probably glitches, everyone's everyone. Probably like the Oathbreaker glitch that. got fixed pretty quickly. Yeah, there was a glitch in Act Three that was bothering me, but it, what? they fixed it. Like they fixed it like the day after. Yeah, the it day happened after to him, I yeah. was like, oh, I want to. Nah, that's so gas. You know what that does? That completely changes me. Like I could just play that alone now. Yeah. If I wanted to, just switch out the character and then do the companion uh, story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like yeah. that's so. That's literally what I was asking for. That's insane. Mm-hmm. That's fire. Good on them. That's Larry a good move Studios for them. Is Goats. Yeah, good job, yeah. guys. Yeah, keep up that bro. good stuff. They made a fucking mat. A lot of games nowadays aren't really keeping up with uh, seventy dollars for a game. I personally think it's just a lot this of money, dude. Boulder's Gate Three is absolutely worth the $70. 70 I think it, I think it, it's like... That's the first game in is. a long time that I feel yeah. like is actually worth that money. Yeah. You, but I was just saying it too. This is definitely going to be game of the year. Game oh, of yeah, the year. Easily, I think this is going to be game easily. of the year. Yeah. Listen, Elder, easily. Listen, Elden Ring was the game of the year last year. Fuck yeah. Could still have probably the most amount of hours on that game. I think I have over like 300-something hours on that wow. game. Wow. I love that game so much. Terraria still waiting for DLC. My life. I mean, I've got like... Still waiting for twenty five hundred hours on Counter Strike, so I don't know if Holy any game shit. is ever gonna pass that. But I have more than a thousand hours on Terraria. Yeah, I'm a right. huge Terraria <laughs> casual. <guy. laughs> does League say how many hours you have? On I that? wish. If, I, if hope it it did, if I, I hope it doesn't. If I hope it doesn't. It's years. I, I we've been playing that game for I think, fourteen years. But yeah, fourteen we, years since it it came out yeah. almost like we were like season two. Maybe like yeah, like a year after it came yeah, out. Yeah, we're season two, dude, and they looked silly. If yeah. you look, go if you go back to oh, season yeah, two and look at the time. splash art and the game, it looks fucking silly. <laughs> it looks I like mean, a MOBA. The game is still fucking the game silly. Game still looks game silly, is, bro. Oh, no, I quit. I quit video games. That's it. I had, I had enough. I had no, enough. No, you're coming back so for Boulder's Gate. No, oh, really should. You're coming no. back for Boulder's Gate. I forgot about Boulder's Gate. I'm telling you, bro. Really you don't yeah, have to. You don't have to quit gaming as a whole. I'm you done. just need to quit League, bro. That game is fucking. That game fucking sucks. And it makes you not have fun playing video games anymore. Nah, I'm done with video games. I, I get games make you mad, but no, League no, only not, no. makes you mad. There's no, no, no enjoyment there. No, it's not about there. being mad. It's just I get too anxious when I play video games. I can't do it's it. It's not about that. Know? It's the fucking League people, of people Legends. Are like, people are like, if you're having fun, then you know, it's not time wasted. But I, I, I just can't get that out of my head where it's like I'm in my own head. I get really anxious. And I'm like, I can't That's because you're not having fun. When was the last no, time you had fun it. playing I, a fucking played, video game? I played one game of League yesterday, and I wanted to fucking just... Why? Bash my computer yeah. in. And yet you always go back. And I always go back. <laughs> and yet you got a buy. fucking problem. Because you know the what problem it is? Is in video I'll say games, this. I'll say this. I think, I think League is fun. It is fun. You're, I, you're, there's a you're reason bugging, why I go back bro. to it. Because you can do a lot with it. You know it. what it is? The community is horrible. Oh and, then the, and then on top of that, the the 
difference in skill is what bothers me, I think, the My most. My brother in Christ. You are the community. Dude. And yeah, and I'm great. <laughs> You're but part the rest of it. Of them is trash. So I think, I'm going to say this right now, y'all need to add another tier even lower than iron and put these <laughs> fucking dudes in there, bro. Start weeding it out, dude. You have 50% of the community of the of the player base, which is like millions, is I think bronze or silver. 50%. And then the other 50%, I think is just uh, yeah. plat. I think it's plat. plat or gold. So you have majority of people in these two, the pri- these like two the- elos. That's it. Yeah. So now you're going to tell me, little Johnny, seven years old, in silver, grown Cali Bunga, 25 years old, in silver, this dude goes 0-19, I go 19-0, and 0, I still lose. How are you putting me with this kid, bro? How are you, how, what is your matchmaking? matchmaking? I'm telling you, matchmaking is shit, online games are shit, I'm done, I can't do it, that's I'm why, done with games. That's why, that's why I play Baldur's I games. will say this, I think there's certain games that do the online, where I fucks with certain aspects of the games, I think Valorant. I love the performance bonus. I think that should be in every video game. There is no reason why you do good and, and not get, get penalized for uh, it. Yeah. And, you don't and, get and, and, and uh, Valorant, you can go up an entire rank in three games because you do so good that they'll give you a performance bonus and mm. you get like 30, 40 points. Don't get that in League. In League, you do so good, you get 19. Mm-hmm. You lose, you lose 35. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. And then on Valorant, if you don't lose ranked. and do good, just win you get a performance bonus that lets you lose less. That's why I don't play ranked, though. Ranked? There's no reason for me to play, play I don't ranked like these anymore. games enough to not play ranked. <laughs> I don't play I'm not ranked. casually I don't, playing I any play, of these games, bro. I only play ranked with you. Fucking love I, ranked. That was it. Oh, fucking I don't play love ranked, ranked, dude. Give Either. me a reason to play. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. You got to stop it's, playing ranked, bro. You got to give it up. I can go into the whole argument of there's a whole psychological thing behind it. Like mm. the reason why I don't play ranked mm. in online games is because what does it benefit? Nothing. Nothing. I will say for me though, as a streamer. Yeah, but what about that nice little number? No, no, no. For me, that's all about. That's all we are number. anyway. We are all numbers. For exactly. me though, as as a streamer, that's where it does change. Because when you are a high rank, people come and view you more. Yeah. But so that's why I want I a high think, rank I think to it, get that viewer increase. Because if you watch the old pros of Overwatch, Overwatch is dead. But you still watch the old pros; they still have thousands of people watching them. Did they ever decide to put the PB, PV? No, I think they did. They, they scrap that? No, they scrapped it. Now they added a, they added a new it, one because they because they fucking that game's bombarded. Dead, bro. And guess what? You have to pay for it. That game's oh. dead. That game's dead. And you know what they did? Oh. They put it on Steam. Yeah, I know that. Because that game is so dead. dead they bro. killed it. First the of all, there's no so way. Dead. There's no reason why you should just be like, "Hey, we're scrapping the entire thing that everybody was waiting for," and then out of nowhere, "Hey, we added it, but with differences." But you have to pay for it. Yeah, and now it's twenty bucks or something like that. That's so it's like, dumb. Shut up. That's it's some so goober shit, bro. Dumb. It's so bad. Your watch is a joke. You're a company. How are you gonna do that? To you? Blizzard, Think about it. That's hardly a company, is, bro. I, that's a rat. It's not. Blizzard's a fucking racket. Fact. Okay, that's what they are. Like Diablo Four, every I from I played Diablo Four when it came out, mm-hmm. and then after a while, people were just like, "Yeah, it's pay to, it's pay to win, like to pay to get stronger." It's stupid. That's so dumb. Even with the the mobile version. But Diablo you gotta understand, Immortal. these are online games nowadays. These are what online games are nowadays, yeah, can, and it's so that's trash. How, but that's and you know what's a good game? Pikmin Five, <laughs> uh, Four. Pikmin 4. I'm waiting for Pikmin, Pikmin 5. 5. I can't Pikmin, wait. Hey, my bad. I, I didn't mean to tell you <laughs> guys I have Pikmin 5 yet. No, no. I played Pikmin 4 for four days straight. Four days straight. 100% beat the game. I didn't look at my phone. I didn't answer a call. I didn't answer a text. And I felt like I was on vacation. Mm-hmm. I felt like I was in a tropical island. I was nice and relaxed. I was genuinely playing a game and enjoying myself where I didn't get any anxiety, I didn't get anxious. I didn't playing a single player was, game. It was just That's me like in a beautiful environment. Like, Boulder's Gate. Well, the Boulder's thing is, Gate the, is game is, the game is the game itself is just the environment of it is beautiful. The graphics are great. The the mindset of the game. There's some cool enemies. There's some cool new enemies. There's somewhere I was kind of disappointing in the bosses. There's not so like the whole thing is that there's bosses in all the games that are huge. And this one there was like five, six bosses. And then two or three of them are kind of reused bosses, which I was like, ah. But the new ones are sick. The new ones are sick. There's this giant spider that crushes all of you. Yeah, it crushes you. It uses its legs to crush your pigmen. There's one. that There's a new one that they added. It's a giant fucking disco ball spider. 
and it fucking makes your Pikmin dance. Mm -hmm. And when they dance, you can't control them. So they're running around dancing and they're just getting smashed. And you're just fucking screaming and, and freaking out. Bomb, bro. It's so it's a boogie Shout bomb. They hit it with the boogie bomb. <laughs> and you're like, no, no, stop dancing. And they're like, Whoa. they're all like raving, bro. Yeah, the whole the whole thing that I always find is like when you're playing a single player game, of course you're gonna it. have fun. I love it. Because you're not worrying about another person. I love it. You know what sucks like, that sometimes I'm like, I wish I could play this. With a friend, right? Like co-op games are my thing. I love, love co-op co games. games. Yeah. But, but that's what that's what Baldur's Gate three is is a co-op game. Yeah, you don't have to worry about another fuck. Like you don't have. It's not like uh, I don't know. You don't have to worry about like anybody else really bothering you guys. It's just the four people. It's a vibe. There's actually a mod to play. It's eight. like um when we would play the the multiplayer mod for Elden Ring. Hell I yeah. That's what that. it's like. It was great. Yeah. That was Love, a good time. That was great. But guess what? Another and it's back. Game. And it's back. Another single player. And game. it's back. And, it's and that game frustrates me in a different way. Yeah, I don't get mad at that game. I get diff. I get like sad. It's it's a skill issue. I'm it's like a skill oh, issue. disappointed yeah. in yourself. Yeah, I, I get I disappointed. Can, I can yeah, it's not like nobody to blame, bro. You realize that you're the problem. Exactly. You'd be like, why did I do that? I can breeze through that game now. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't Elden touched Rings. in a while Easy. where I probably would have to like warm up nah, again. I could, I could I, I'd probably have to game. warm up. I haven't played in a long I time. I mean, I'd be, I'd be I Dark Souls 3 in a couple days. After That's I, a great it's game. It's a great game. Did you I, enjoy that one? I loved it. I think Dark Souls 3 is phenomenal. What was 3? the hardest boss for you? Uh, Probably the last boss. Easy. It wasn't uh, like... Easiest boss I fought. You know who's the hardest boss for me? Say the Nameless King. The Nameless fucking That dude king. was so fucking easy. I beat him in yeah. one go. I, I, dude, how? I think it only took me like one or it like took one me to eight hours goes. streaming, dude. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> streaming. Yeah. Eight hours. It was hours so that. easy. But I was again, losing my mind. Dude. But yet again, I've had the hours of, of I mean, it's a slightly different, like, thing, You know who else is crazy? The Abyssal, the Abyssal Watcher, the guy who clones himself and he just starts throwing hands with himself with his clones. Oh, He's got like the triangle pyramid head. Mm -hmm. That guy was tough. I, That's a hard listen, boss. I, I, but how did you play that? You played that game full strength, like. I, I play every game full every strength. Game full strength. <laughs> every stick. game I start at Big four, stick. From be soft, a barbarian, go, bro. Yeah. Go Should be a strength. barbarian. I, and then after that, I was just, yeah. I used the fucking, I used the Guts Greatsword that whole mm. game. Leveled, Fire. maxed that thing Great out. Great game, dude. Such a good game. A Sif, Sif is in that. Sif, right? The, the fox? I, dude, I think it's Sif, yeah. I haven't, I mean, I only The DLC once. is him. I actually have to play the DLC. The DLC is I sick. Really He's one of the bosses. I think he helps you fight, actually. I think he helps you fight a boss. It was just insane. I do have to do that, but I wanted to. I, I wanted to play um, Bloodborne. That's the only one I never played. So I played I, Sekiro. Oh, it was it a PlayStation exclusive. I lied. Yeah, that's why I never yeah, played it. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't have I have it. It was free on PlayStation for like a month. I've never played two because I, I heard that's the worst that's one. The worst one. And then I one. heard, uh, and then Bloodborne I didn't play. Bloodborne. But I heard Bloodborne's really good. Yeah. I tested it out before. It's like Elden Ring, but the difference is that it's more like a uh, like uh, Van Helsing. Okay. So that you have idea. guns. All right. You literally have like guns, like, like you can shoot enemies and stuff. Like it's sick. I mean, it's not like you can like fucking mow down an enemy with a machine gun, but no. But you have a pistol. Yeah, I think. you, have, a you have like a pistol and stuff. So it's it's pretty cool. It's like vampires. There's also kind yeah. Of there's it. also I don't a lot more like different kind of demons. They're very different. It's a lot darker. Yeah. A lot lot spooky. But it's sick. It's so cool. I and definitely it's good. do want to. I definitely you do karate chop up again. If you don't use a weapon, you just karate chop them. It's great. I definitely but want to pick that. I never got into it. I never was able to play that one. I loved 3. I loved 1. And I love Elden Ring. I never got into Sekiro either. Sekiro was great. No, I heard that once, you, once you learn the combat in that game, such a good fucking game. The parry system, I heard, is just phenomenal. Yeah. I'll tell you the secret. Just jam the button. Just jam Just keep hitting it. Just until just you, until you got, your guy parries automatically. Just keep hitting it. That's all. Does it make it easier? A little bit. But the bosses are cool. Bosses are so cool. The environment is dope. The I like that. So uh, cool. uh, feudal Japanese. Grappling yeah. Hook. Mm -hmm. yeah. The grappling hook is probably sick too. Hook, on the roof and shit. Imagine it's a grappling hook in Elden Ring. Dodge a freaking giant dragon. I need a, I need a grapple hook in uh, Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah. Baldur's Gate. I need a grapple hook. I'd be a villain. Well, I got Larry Misty Studios, stuff. put a grapple hook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please. The people want a grappling hook. No, but that's fire, dude. And I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the game. I'm glad you are enjoying the game. You should definitely hop back on. Yes, please, Seriously? bro, please. Yeah, I'm retired, dude. I got no, a lot of weight not. to lose first. No, when, you, when you come back, we'll be waiting. We'll still be playing. Yeah, we'll still be we'll still be playing. I'm I'm not even years. I'm not even close to done with that game yet. I am not even close to done with that game yet. Really, I'm having so much fun. I mean, listen, you know the you know the Dungeons and Dragons classes. There's so much to do, and now you can actually they're adding more. And they're they're I, gonna I add more classes. Yeah, I gotta figure I have out some more rogue. My next one's Jesus. gonna be a monk rogue. I do have the Dungeons and Dragons books upstairs. 
like the player manual, and it's literally the exact same. Yeah, we thing. have everything here. I'm down to play. We should. We should play. We right talked about this last time. We should play. We literally have a table I'll right grab, here. I'll go grab all the books right you now and everything. Yeah, I'll do it. Collapse. I swear to God, I will do 300 it. 300 hour campaign. The thing yeah. is, though, <laughs> like I said, the thing I w- is um, a DM. Because mm. I, I would like to play, mm. but I also would like to be a DM. I bet you Mike could do it. I bet he can. I bet you Mike would be able to do it. Mike, really? Yeah, I Which bet Mike? you he could. He can book him. He can book him. He can book him. Oh, yeah, he does play. He does play. Plays with his friends. Yeah, you know what? He probably could. I do bet that. you'd be. A he'd good probably one. have a blast too. Yeah, he'd love it. Dude, we should do that. We should set it up. We'll set it up on uh, the Discord. But I had an idea, and it totally slipped my mind of something that just recently released. I think it was like the a, gaming cha- a movie going. or something. I don't remember what it was. Have you been seeing any good movies lately? Um, I watched. I just watched The Equalizer. Is that with the uh, Denzel? De- Denzel Washington. Uh, yeah. Oh, so the third one just came out. I think that's a super good movie. The first one's one not bad. He's gonna equalize. He's a good. Is that when he, when he has old the, man when comes he has out of the water? He's like, because like that the one where he sets his watch all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sixteen seconds. Fire, bro. And fire. He kills movie. all these Russian guys. He's like seventeen. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Whatever. He's gonna equalize, bro. He equalizes everything. So basically, with the first equalizer, he's just. Some old dude. He's an old head, just living in a neighborhood. Works at Home Depot, right? And there's a girl that he goes to the diner at nighttime. And there's a girl that goes into the diner. She's a singer. Turns out she's also, I believe, an escort. So one day, she comes in and she's beaten, and he knows the guy who beat her. Mm. So he goes to talk to her. He goes, "Listen, you know, blah blah blah. I don't want no trouble, kind of shit. Like keep this out of my neighborhood." That I'm probably not saying you. this right. Before I equalize, they're like, "Damn, he's gonna equalize." Before I equalize, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he says that, bro. Yeah, it's his it's 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 famous the line. Of the movie? What's yeah, your name? Who are you? I'm the equalizer. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, but um, so um, so he goes to this. I believe it's the Russians. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the saying. Russians. And saying. um, and he goes into their bar, goes to the floor, and the guy's like, "How the fuck did you get up here?" He's like, I equal it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> He's like, you know, he does his thing. So they start making fun of him. He drops $9,800 and be like, yo, I want to buy that girl. And he, she's like, you want to buy, you want to lose 10,000 grand, a grand, 10 grand for a girl you don't even know. He's like, yeah, I want to buy this girl. The guy's like, get the fuck out of here. And he just go, starts calling him shit in Russian. So while he's about to walk out, his clock he starts setting the clock. That means he's about to. Equalize. equalize that's right baby he's about to equalize <laughs> sets up his clock and he locks the door and they're like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy and supposedly this guy has hockey from one piece or some shit and he could see things before they happen so he's setting up everything before it actually happens and he just starts killing dudes he kills all of them in 18 seconds <clears throat> he kills all of them and those guys are tied to higher up Russians so now they start going after him mm. and he's just some old dude that works at Home Depot and he's just murdering everyone the last scene he fights them in Home Depot dude comes out with a nail gun and kills him <laughs> with a nail gun dude. Like a pretty two, good movie. It, it's this is the third one it's the first one it's the first one yeah the third one just came out it's in theaters now it's the first one and at the end somehow he's in fucking Russia killing the head leader dude, of the Russian mob uh, spoiler the fuck <laughs> I'm like, how the hell did he... Facts, my bad. Equalized. Yeah, he, dude, he... How, how'd you get here? <laughs> I equalized. I equalized. <laughs> 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 he fucking turns the particles, teleports over there. Dude kills him, bro. I was like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Old man. Great movie. If you like an action movie, that... Have it's you like seen a John, John Wick, Wick type yet? shit? Of course. I mean, we talked about that before. John Wick 4. I think we did. It was phenomenal. It was, it was, I haven't seen I it. I enjoyed it. I do want to watch it. Best part of that movie. Top down scene. So the camera's up, down, looking down, mm. and you have the rooms. It's like when you press O in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> exactly. Exactly like that. <laughs> and you see from above. Yep, yep. And you're just watching this dude murder everyone. It is sick. And then he has, like, his friend, well, the guy that's helping him at the time with the dog. So you see the dog going from room, from room and just bite people. <laughs> it's so good, dude. The movie is phenomenal. I like movies, personally. I do, too. I'm not a huge movie guy. No. We gotta make you watch a scary movie. No, please God, don't. We we say, I say we make you watch The Exorcist. I've never seen that one. Great movie. I just watched it the other day. Again. Is that the one where she's like... 
And she yeah. fucking breaks into a fucking yeah. 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 That's pretty good, like right? That shit that was pretty good. Exercise, I don't be fucking with no scary Honestly, movies, man. No, I'm thinking the Grudge. I'm sorry, the Grudge. No, grudge. Like, yeah, the, the Grudge. The Grudge. The Grudge. The Grudge. The Grudge. That's what I'm thinking about. That's like when she's like. Yeah, but The Exorcist is like. That's like the staple of it. Uh, really? Yeah. It was good. Definitely great. I thought movie. The Exorcist is where she's like, he's it's the priest, right? And yeah. she's like, <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> but I can never watch that movie. I, yet again, thanks to the scary movie franchise, I can never fucking watch Dude, I feel that you. movie without. Oh, because of Scary Movie 2, right? Scary movie oh two. my God, that part is so. He's sitting he on starts the, humping. <laughs> he's sitting on the toilet. <laughs> You see him wipe his face, all the flies start coming in. It just get it worse and worse. That shit was great. It's I cannot, just, I can't. Bro. It just, get, just keeps so getting more stupid. and more flies on the freaking window until it gets awful. Oh my god, have you ever seen that movie? What? Scary movie? Scary movie? Scary movie two. Probably a long time ago. Scary movie two is the best. Oh. I love scary movies. Such a good movie. I think one to four, I genuinely enjoy. Mm-hmm. Four is where it starts to decline, but it still has really funny that's, moments. Um, that's uh, no, that's what is, saw. Three is yeah. Three Number is four is of the worlds. Yeah. No, War of the Worlds, the one with the with the the, the aliens. aliens. I watched War of the Worlds. That, that shit scared the fuck out of me when I was a kid. That's what the three three memes on. Three, oh, yeah, okay. three fucking parodies. Which, by the way, I don't know if you've seen the new Guardians of the Galaxy. They totally stole that scene. So there's a scene in in, in uh, Scary Movie Three where the guy's trying to get in the car because the world is uh, ending, mm-hmm. and he keeps locking the door. When he's trying to open the door wow. accidentally, I actually and he didn't keeps know trying that. to he keeps trying to get in, and he's like, "Yo, man, unlock the door." He goes, "I'm unlocking, just pull." And he's pulling, and he's like, "It's not unlocked." He goes, "Well, stop pulling when I'm trying to unlock it." And they're just sitting there <laughs> arguing with each other, right? <laughs> and they do that for like five, ten minutes. And he's like, "You know what? Forget this." He goes, "Fine, fuck you." And he fucking drives off, and he leaves him. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Three did that same scene. They did the same thing with Nebula and. That's and where they said "fuck" for the first time yeah. in the Marvel movie. <laughs> they said fuck for the first time. They dropped the f bomb. You're allowed one f bomb for a PG-13 movie, I believe, or something like that. Are you really? Yeah, I believe so. You're allowed one f bomb, and they they did that same scene where she's trying to get in the car, and he's just unlocking it over and over again, trying to, and she mm-hmm. just keeps pulling when he's trying to unlock it. It keeps locking, and they're sitting there for like ten minutes arguing about it. That's they great. did the same scene. It's a great movie. It's insane. I saw that. And I was like, no way. Good little Easter egg. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably edit a video and put it together to show people. But um, scary movie is a comedic movie. Yeah, no, I know scary all movies, movies. Yeah, they ruin so many movies mm-hmm. for me uh, because I cannot so help I cannot but laugh. Help but think about it. Like I, I was just watching the Scream series last week. <laughs> exactly. Can't can't picture just what the yeah exactly <laughs> what the I can't help it. I'm slinging a slash. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't help it. It's just so <laughs> fucking funny. I, 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 but I, wait. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Cause this one's a screamer. And he's I freaking the foam is coming out. Of his. Come on, dude. How do you I fucking oh, love that? I can't rewatch any of that. When I saw Ghostface Killer, I was like, I can't. I just expected to be doofy at some point. Like I just oh, can't watch. Yeah, it. I do. I can't. <laughs> I, and you know what's funny? That character in the movie. Yeah. Is Dewey is like one of the greatest characters in that whole franchise. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I saw that and in the newest you, one. I watched yeah. him. Great you know, movie. You know, I'm not way. trying to spoil anything, but damn. But um, great movie. And I they said Dewey, and I was like, no fucking way. There's an actual guy named Dewey. I thought Dewey. he was just a spoof character. Doofy. They call him Doofy. They call him <laughs> Doofy in Scary Movie One. <laughs> he freaking do yeah. like it. Smell Dude. my what? Smell it. <laughs> smell my finger. Oh, Doofy. Doofy. What is that? <laughs> my ass. <laughs> my ass. <laughs> it's like oh, <laughs> it's a smell of victory, my friend. But like that one, Scary Movie Two, they do the Exorcist. They do the Exorcist. And so you can't do... even take the Exorcist was it? seriously but now. But what else? Because it wasn't really like that much of a. Uh, they did the Haunted House in yeah. uh, the second one. Um, because the beginning of the fr- second one. I don't know is... if the Haunted House was based on anything, honestly. I, that's why I think it was like its own. Yeah. Just spoof honestly, movie. now that you mention it, that movie didn't really, really spoof have that, a lot. Yeah. Unless it's a spoof on some haunted house uh, movie. Yeah, that I have no idea yeah. what it is. If anybody knows, uh, write it in the comments because I'm really genuinely curious what Scary Movie 2 even spoofed besides The Exorcist. In the, beginning, the part where they it. get chased by the skeleton and they're like, it's this terrifying skeleton and then they accidentally hit it and he falls apart and they're like, oh shit. And then starts to re like make himself. So they're like, get him. And they <laughs> position him all wrong, bro. <laughs> and, they, and he gets stuck like that. And they're just fucking with him. It's so good. He said, three was a uh, three was good. Three, three was, was the ring. Three was the ring. Yeah. War of the worlds. Yeah, and that's all I can remember. That's all I can really remember. Hilarious. Three was great. The beginning of that movie was 
fucking hysterical with Michael Jackson, and he's fighting Charlie Sheen. No, 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 no. Was it the beginning? Mike was Tyson. It? No, it wasn't Mike Tyson. No, that's four. You're right. That's four. Mike Tyson, and he's dressed up as a female. <laughs> you, know, you gotta watch number three. Michael Jackson. Yeah, it's uh, Charlie, Charlie Sheen. Sheen's daughter is like crying in the in her room, and then he pulls the cover. Oh, he off takes his nose off. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, it's you Michael <laughs> Jackson. The shit out of me as a kid, bro. Shit was so fucking funny. Oh my god. No, nah, Michael Jackson's best like four? the best thing ever was his cameo on. Uh, Men in Black. A- Agent O. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so good. It's like, hello? <laughs> like, was that really part of the movie? I don't remember. Yeah, that was part Which of the movie. Which one was that, two? I think it's two. Men in Black series is gas. Yeah, it's really good. Too. I was love it those movies. I don't remember. If someone knows which, I don't remember. I mean, we I, could probably I, look it up. I'm pretty sure it's two. I'll look it up. I'm pretty sure it's two. I'm going to look but, it up. But, um, I'm genuinely dude, good. Men in Black. Such a good great, movie. Great. You seen those? You seen all three? I like the third one, personally. A lot of people don't like the third one. I personally like the third one. Mm-hmm. I like the third one. You know, we should rewatch those two. I'll be done. I think, we, I think that's something we should rewatch. Gotta bring the, the movie night back in the Discord. Yeah, Men in Black 2. It was Men in Black 2, right? Hey, this is Agent O. Agent O. <laughs> Oh, something like that, bro. So fucking Oh, we should have got Chase. He, that's what, that scene always makes me think of him, bro. He does it so Chase well. Chase is busy today. <laughs> oh. He's got, uh, yeah, Vico, Vico over, yeah. But um, we should definitely rewatch the Men in Black series. I think. We did, we did the Rush Hour series. The Rush Hour oh, series was dude, yeah. so good. Dude, I just <laughs> rewatched it with Dave and Laurel. We fucking watched all three of them. So He good. loved them. Two had me crying, bro. There's a scene where he's running down the stairs trying to go after the villain. And he runs into this Chinese woman, and she goes, "Get out of my way, Kobe!" And she's yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> Yo, that that's crazy, so bro. Good, bro. Yo, that movie is so good. Do you think movies today could do that? No. Well, do you think they'll? I mean, they obviously do with us. Oh my I'm god! So time to take a shit. No, but no. Uh, do you think that they'll like be acceptable in this day and age? You know, it's tough, really, because you know what it is? Nowadays, I just feel like everyone's really gets offended so easily. Because if you look at Rush Hour, there's a lot of jokes of black and Chinese yeah. or black and Asian. Yeah, there's a lot of racist shit in there. Dude, but they funny. get into an argument, mm-hmm. and Jackie Chan goes to eat fried chicken, and Chris Tucker goes to eat Chinese food, bro. And it's just like, that's hilarious. But at that time, that's that, that shit is funny. You know, that was funny. If you do that now, I feel like people just get offended over every little th- thing. <sighs> See, my thought is, I don't even think that if you if they just made the movie, right? Yeah. And they put it out, people would watch it, people would like it, and people would get mad about it. But at the end of the day, you still made the movie, you still sold the tickets, mm. people still enjoyed it. Yeah. But you just have to do it. Yeah. So you I, know? I just found so out. So people are afraid to do it. Of yeah. course. I just found out that whole thing with, like, movies being a success or not like in the movie theater you know how you, most of the time a movie comes out it's like maybe like a month in the movie theater yeah but i found out that it depends on how much the movie makes yeah like if it has high ticket sales they're gonna keep it in theaters for way longer mm-hmm. like you of could course still, business. you could probably still see guardians of the galaxy 3 in theaters somewhere probably be yeah like that movie came out how long ago a couple months a couple months ago. yeah i think a couple oh, months ago oh, oh, i mean it was, it was a summer Spir- Spirited Spirited away still comes back to the movie theaters every so often yeah which is fire mm-hmm. but that's cuz our movie theater plays sometimes old retro movies yeah. but yeah continue did you actually know that the alamo does trivia night yeah i didn't know that i didn't do all that stuff i didn't know that dude alamo is sick on this island bro they, they have do you know what they were watching you know what they were showing the other day goodfellas great movie in a great 30 movie. person a 30 person theater great movie so you can go and by the way all movies are cheaper. They're like five bucks. Great and you movie. can go watch those movies in a theater. So you can go get the whole group chat, go watch Goodfellas. The whole group chat? That'd be fucking sick, In actually. one theater, bro. Just eating and watching Goodfellas, bro. They would, everyone would love that. Mm-hmm. And it's cheaper. And on Tuesdays, they have cheap tickets, too. It's $5 Tuesdays. And kids' movies are also cheap, too. They're like two bucks. Which is pretty gas. Mm. But with with the movies, um, yeah, if the movie does really good, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay longer, of course. So say if... Um, you put Rush Hour two in the movie theater. I'm going to see that. Oh, yeah, of course, absolutely. but okay. Prior prior to knowing what it is. Oh oh yeah, that's going the, back the topic to the whole, we were talking right. about. Like, will it be acceptable? Right. Um, have you ever watched Joe Rogan's podcast with um, uh, what's his name, Robert Downey Jr.? No. Okay, so he did blackface. Oh yeah, yes. in Tropic Thunder. In Tropic he Tropic Thunder. Thunder. That's a but that's a great. 
great fucking movie. That movie's movie. hilarious. I keep forgetting that it's Robert Downey Jr. I playing. always forget that's him, dude. Because he does it so well. And it's just like, if you think about it, if you did that right now. Yeah. You know, they, in the podcast, that. they talk about how that's probably the last time anyone is ever going to be able to do that. It's probably the last time. You know, ben Stiller had some had balls. He he got all the backlash for it. I know. No, Robert Downey Jr. didn't get any backlash for it. Because it was yeah. all... Because it was Ben, ben Stiller's Stiller directing. directing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he got all the backlash for it. But, like, if you watch the podcast, they talk about that and, and how... Pete, it's like probably the last time you'll ever be able to see something like that. Which that one I can Wait, understand. I, that's, yeah, that one that I can I understand. That one's kind of crazy, but hilarious. But hilarious. I'm just saying, like in general, we're like, you know, the jokes about Chris Tucker eating Chinese food and yeah. Jackie Chan eating fried chicken. Yeah. Like, so Rush Hour One when, when he says the N word, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> he walks into that. That's, <laughs> cra- that's crazy. Like, do you think that like that definitely won't go by today? Hmm. I mean, if you have like a, a I feel a, like it depends who it is. If you got like a Jackie I mean, Chan listen, doing it, I feel like he could probably get away with it. I but mean, a Jackie Chan, my, my listen. The only person, the only thing that. But I is there like a Jackie Chan now? No, not no, really. No Chan I don't now. think so. No, there's no Jackie Chan now. No, Jackie Chan's a goat. I fucking love Jackie Chan. Um, but the Jackie. What's the last movie that you really think where they say the N word? Uh, all I think is Django. Oh, with a hard R. No, 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 not with the Cause hard Django R. Because Django with the hard R is crazy. But you know what it is with Django? It's that the whole point of the movie was that. Right. You know, that a was slave a... who freed himself and then he goes to get revenge. Yeah, it also depends wife, on you know? the type of movie. Yeah. Like, can you make a comedy like that these days? No. Probably not. No. Yeah, you can. Uh, not with that hard R. No, but, with but that's, that's what I'm talking yeah, about, though. with the hard R. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But. I mean, but if you're doing like a... Not like a non-fiction piece, but like a a, a piece on that, mm. and like you're highlighting things and mm. shit like that. Then I could you could do it. It just you can't. It's not something that you can like yeah. use as like a, a comedic. Nah, it's a, yeah. It really depends what it is. Really, it really depends who it is, what it is. It's very situational, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You know, Chris Tucker. They're because they're talking about making a fourth one. Please. I will say Please. though, I, yeah, I'll buy all. The it tickets. does start to decline in three. After rewatching three, I was like, I like three. I love three. It used to be my favorite until I rewatched it recently, and I was like, I c- you could see the difference in mm-hmm. one and two to three, and two is my favorite now. I fucking love two. That shit is hilarious. But you could see the difference. So if they make a fourth one, I don't know how they're gonna do it. I really don't. But if they do, I'm definitely gonna watch it. Oh, absolutely. 100. Absolutely. I love my Rush Hour movies, but as 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 a, a perspective from us, like I said, we're not professionals. We don't know um, two white guys and a Hispanic guy really. For us, that's how we see it, I guess. But uh, I'm I would I like to discuss this stuff sometimes, honestly, because I'm genuinely curious on the perspective of other people. Because everyone sees things differently. Mm-hmm. It's it's very different. It's so just situational. No, it's so ignorant. No, it's yeah, ignorant. I I don't like people that just gatekeep and close it. But it is what it is. You know, some people are like that. Some people aren't. Because, like, I don't want to talk about racism and stuff, but no. it, everyone, I guess, deals with it at some point. Or maybe not everyone. I've dealt with it my entire life. And I'm Hispanic, you know? So I can only imagine what a perspective for someone else. Because, like I said, I say my name and no one wants to fucking say my name. They're just like, that's and that's all we have in this world is our name. I had to start putting it on my wrist for people to <laughs> fucking... Oh, forgetting it? Yeah. <laughs> everyone says that. Why else would you wear it? <laughs> Everyone goes, you're, you're, fake, you're forgetting your own name? I'm like, no, yeah, well, it's a wait, bracelet. You got to give them the like, bracelet. People, they can't so, remember your name. What the hell? Good, what good does it do <laughs> you, bro? <laughs> I, I go, I had to name. People and then my wouldn't name say tag. my name, I, so I put it on my wrist. I put three, I give people mean? three ways to, to see my name. I say my name, I show them my name tag, and I show them my wrist. I'm like, this is my name. And they'll be like, Frank? And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I have a patient that calls me Frank. Francis Ducali? Dude. <laughs> Francis Ducal. <laughs> I think it's time for the name change, bro. St. Patrick's Day. I did change. Did you go? This, did you go this year, St. Patrick's Day parade? Yeah, we went. No, I didn't went. You went. I didn't make it. No, you were. Dude, I got there. I got drunk off the Henny and went home. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. I didn't even make it inside. We were yeah, online. Me, I got me home. Me and Facundo slammed that whole we, bottle we, of Henny, bro. Dude, that's a half a bottle of Henny. <laughs> Three of us half a fucking slammed each, that bro. handle. 
The three of us hand slammed a half a bottle of like what the one hundred and eight, the one point seven five liter, one. the big one, big fucking big handle. handle. I brought the half big a bottle, bottle of Henny. I brought Thor's and hammer with me. <laughs> Thor's fucking Mjolnir. 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 I can't do that. That's yeah, so hard for me. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. <laughs> Not like Doofy. Mjolnir. <laughs> He's my hammer. <laughs> yeah, St. Patrick's Day. That was a great. That was a great. It was time. a good time. Uh, we went to the bar. Definitely uh, learned. I tried to fight a group of guys. Bro. Who? And I know Scott. That, I, oh, was it that? I First, think Nicole. I don't, I, don't I don't even know. Nicole's what it was such yeah, a I, troublemaker. I knew the group of guys. Nicole, you're such a troublemaker. I was like, Yo, Scott, we gotta go. I knew bro. the group of guys too. One of them was like a close family friend. Yeah, dude, Scott was blowing kisses at him, bro. <laughs> Wait, may have not been. <laughs> yeah, uh, Scott. Scott. I was like, bro, let's rowdy. go. I fucking took him out. We walked over to like the Philly cheesesteak truck, and. uh I'm fucking ordering us cheesesteaks. And I turn around. This dude's walking back over towards him. Oh. I had to fucking run over and grab him again. I was like, bro, what are Man you doing? Man was looking for trouble at that point. Mm. That's so funny. It's like, listen, it's one thing if you get your ass beat, but you're going to get my ass beat <laughs> nah, too, bro. Nah. <laughs> the funny like, thing is. If there was is... more of us here, I'd be down, bro. <laughs> it's just me and you against seven of them. Like, we're going to get whooped. Yeah, the funny thing is that if you do, if you talk about it in front of him and Nicole, he will blame Nicole. And Nicole will be like... That was all you. It should be like it was nothing to do with her, bro. <laughs> I, I I wish I could have seen it, honestly. That that, I that didn't parade see gets it, crazy. But I heard it. Where were you in that parade? I was, you were with them too? I was with them, but I wasn't really with them. The parade can be fun. What the fuck? Dude, what is with these fucking alarms, bro? I know, I know. Just I know. turn it off. It's my it's my loose weight factor. Is it the alarm? same alarm, bro? It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. Now it's one ten though. I, I forgot I snoozed it and stop it. Oh my but, god. But um the St. Patty's Day parade, I'm over it. Not. I'm upset that I didn't get to go to it this year, the year that you just weren't came. conscious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, I you, I just you, got devastated, you, you obliterated. Came, you, came you came and you I went. Came, you came, I saw. <laughs> you I came, came and you I went, saw. bro. <laughs> yeah. But next year, I think I'm gonna try to. I've learned my lesson. If I do go, don't I'm, go crazy. At the no, fucking. The, the, I didn't even day. before I, okay, before we even so, make it to the street, bro. I'm, We're up the block. So, still. just some some context. We're in. We make it to this parade. We have a bottle of Henny. We have Red Bull. I like something called crunk juice, it's where you best. mix Red Bull magical. and Hennessy. It is a ma- fucking amazing. A magical combination. It is the greatest thing. I, I, I black and out. It's after, ambrosia. Uh, ambrosia. Um, I think two cups of Pure it, and bliss. I'm blacked out. Mm-hmm. I'm a lightweight, I, but like two cups of that, I, I'm under the table. Well, like, we do, we do, we do heavy henny pours, bro. Oh, our I, shit is, I have to. I you have, have to. to. That's More henny sh- than Red Bull every time. <laughs> but like, me, me, me it's me like creamer, bro. Me and Facundo, we're big yeah. henny guys. It's so, like creamer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's light like, and sweet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and so we put this on. We take it. We're just chugging, swigging with all that stuff. We finish half a bottle, and I'm. I'm like, I'm enjoying myself. I'm going to go, oh, this is great. I'm going to go pee. I'm going to go pee. Next thing I know, I wake up at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I like, just, boy, it's like 2 I wake up at home, bro. My mom is yelling at me. My girlfriend at the time is confused and lost, just taking care of me. And I'm like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> And what time is it? It's like what noon? I don't even know, dude. <laughs> it was one o'clock. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was, I was like. Where the fuck am I, bro? Apparently, I took a shower. Apparently, I barely got home. I barely walked in the house. I was like, "Holy shit, bro!" And then I saw. I said to myself, "I'm never drinking again." After the that. Henny, you'll do that to you, bro. Never drinking again. Now, special occasions I will drink. Birthday, why not? Um, did you drink wedding? Yesterday? You drank yesterday? No, nah. a little bit. No, nah. I had that one shot when we walked in, and then I was like, "All right, I'm good." And then every time we were going to take a shot, I went to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah so now true. you know. Now you know my secrets. Now I know, now now I know where to go. Now they know my secrets. Bastard. Yesterday we were everybody taking, knows your yeah, secrets now. Yeah, listen, it's a good technique. All right, so you're welcome, guys. You definitely got to use that. Here's another good one. Yo, yeah, wait, I'm gonna go get a beer real quick. Gone. Gone. Gone dude. in sixty seconds. Gone, dude. You know where I am? Hiding in the basement, bro. You'll never <laughs> find me. <laughs> Tucked behind the fucking. Where's Facundo? Ah, let's take the shot anyway. Crash behind shit, the dryer. Dude. Good <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking press F to hide, bro. But it, it depends. If we go like, it really depends. It's really situational for I me know. now. Because if it's like a regular night where it's like, do I really get blacked out on a regular night? It, it, uh, we're just sitting at a bar. No, not really. No. We're going clubbing. I'll probably have more drinks because then I like I like to dance and, and loosen I just, up. Yeah, yeah I like to loosen up. You know. But on a regular like night, I don't know. Do you, when we went for David's birthday, I drank. You drank. Oh, I definitely drank that night. It was a celebration. 
I got a drink on a celebration. Yeah, that's a team, that's, yeah, yeah. That's group, a group leader, leader bro. Group leader. I got a drink on a celebration. Dude, <laughs> he was yelling at the bartender. Waters! We need waters! Four waters! <laughs> <laughs> Four waters! And the chick was like, okay, honey. And then she got She go. He goes, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> and he bows her. Thank you. And she just laughed at him. I love it. And then he started yelling at Andrew over some situation. <laughs> oh, like man. A, an inside joke. He started yelling at Andrew. This dude, Andrew, knew that it was coming. I've never seen such fear in, in Andrew's eyes. Dude ran out of the club <laughs> and went to go get Taco Bell. Uh, yes, Gone I for the whole him. night. I was David's him. running around the place looking for him. <laughs> I was with Laura when that happened. It was hilarious, dude. It was hilarious. I love yeah, I wanted to good come nights out like that. that. I wanted to come out that night, but I got I wish stuck you at did. fucking work, bro. I wish you did, dude. The nights where everyone's like in, in, in good vibes, mm-hmm. a good time. Everyone's informed. Because you know what time. happens? Eventually, everyone starts arguing because they get too drunk. And that's like, ugh, let's just go home. But that's a little bickering on like small parts. That's like towards the end of the night where everyone's grumpy. But if everyone's good, well, Uber. We took an you Uber made us pull over. Oh yeah, to pee. this dude's got a PP problem. Oh yeah, <laughs> this dude's got a PP problem, bro. This guy's like my bladder. I have the polo, better, please, please. It's, it's better to let it, let it out. This dude almost pissed in the Uber. No, oh, dude, you let a I little bit out, and you wait for it to dry, dry and then you, you wait a little yep, more. Yup, yup. Okay, that's how it works, bro. Yep. It just keeps you at a baseline. Professional. It doesn't tactic. get rid of all if of I, it. No, if it I just it go, keeps it at a manageable level. I let it go. Oh, I can't stop. Blows a hole in the ceiling. (laughs) 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 Slow motion. Slow motion. Everybody's like, (laughs) like a fucking movie. Slow motion. (laughs) Oh my god, dude. Yo, yo. Andrew tipped the Uber driver like forty dollars. He was like, "Could you just pull over?" (laughs) I was like, "Oh my god." We did it last week too when we were going to the the beer garden. The beer garden. When we went out, he came. Which one was oh, the yeah, Jersey City. Jersey City. Jersey City. Before we even, when we left Laura's, the picked the Uber up, or the Uber picked us up. Oh, that place was awesome. Yeah, yeah was it was great. nice. I genuinely enjoyed that. A lot of space. Nice Yeah, we were night. just chilling, just us just vibing. playing fucking and then we ride went the to bus. The, the, the club aft there. The club was fire. The club is sick. Was great. I loved it. The, guy, the, guy, the guy almost didn't let me in. Yeah. Why? Oh, I was wearing a jersey, of course. Argentina, baby. Oh, yeah. And um, the guy was like, oh, listen, I'm going to let you go in because it's the first time I've ever seen you. But you can't wear this again. I was like, oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. I just w. went right in. Yeah. I think I left the can. Yeah. In yeah, to leave the can outside? Yeah, to leave the Kevin, can outside. Kevin left his flask outside. He hid it in the, in the bush. And he forgot it. No, no, no. Somebody Me and Andrew got it. out early. Oh, so no. So I go, yo, Andrew, grab his flask, bro. Hide it from Kevin. You're a villain. And then Kevin gets out later, and he goes, I'm so mad. I go, why? <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? He goes, someone fucking stole my flask. And I was like, oh, no. Damn, dude. they got you, bro. He's like, yeah, bro. What the f- Who does that? Who checks a bush? <laughs> <laughs> my can was still out there when we left. That's hilarious. I don't even know where it is. It's somewhere in my car. Oh, the can the cool crushed? Dude, that was so foul. Oh, my God. That was Nicole so is- foul. We always get back to this. Dude, Nicole Nicole's a such villain, a villain. Though. She's, a, she's a lime. What? Nicole, remember she crushed the... Yeah, she tried the, to step on your can. She like No, she like, crushed your can. You yelled at her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. cost what the fuck? No, <laughs> 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 this is how you eat a Big Mac, bro. It was that kind of, exactly <laughs> that situation. What the fuck? It was exactly that situation. And you yelled at her. You yelled at her so bad. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> evil, bro. Evil, evil little thing, bro. Evil. Dude, when you get when we get her on this podcast, bro. No, we're going to have to beat her speak. up. We're going to have to jump have her, to bro. Beat her up, bro. She's going to speak her mind and be like, lies, lies. <laughs> They're <laughs> slandering my good name. <laughs> so that fucking good, villain, dude. Bro. But I, I love going to clubs like that, honestly. But I can't time. do it all the time. I agree. But if, no, if you, definitely not me. If you I, do it sometimes with like a good group of friends. I definitely like. The, the beer garden, that was definitely the. I like light. jumping around. I know you do. Yeah, I like well, it both. Yeah, I like, I like jumping around. Depends, like, depends, I, know, I like jumping mood. around from place. Like, oh, that's yeah, what yeah, I mean yeah. by like mm. jumping around. Oh, okay. I like having that nice calmness. And then if we want to, we go dance. Yeah, but go if you don't want up. to, yeah, we just go a, back. It was only like a, what a ten minute walk. Yeah, you know, the whole time. Nicole was yelling at Kevin. Why are we following him? He doesn't even know where he's going. Nicole, have a GPS. You don't know anything. Keep slandering on Nicole. <laughs> yeah, Nicole, she canceled on us. That's why we gotta get her. We gotta yeah, get we her. gotta beat her up. We gotta beat her up. No, on the ride back, Nicole kept fucking with me. I was sitting in the front. She, her, and Kevin were behind me. Yeah, they kept oh, we fucking were in with me. Car. 
I fell asleep. Fucking foot pops up right here. Oh, what no. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I grabbed her foot, bro. I went, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no, let go. <laughs> she's fucking crazy. I fucking Evil. knocked out in the car. I had, he passed I had Tara out. and Laurel in my car, and, and I don't know if Tara watches this. I don't think she does, but... Me and Andrew were talking about a show that he wasn't supposed to watch oh, because he was no. supposed to wait for her. So he was ahead, and he watched like five episodes without her. Oh, and no. so we're talking about it, and she goes, wait, what? And she looks at him, and he goes, I just watched like one episode. <laughs> like, right? <laughs> and, then, and she looks at me, and when she looks at me, I just see his head pop out the side. He's just like that. And he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. Oh, yeah, it's a really good show, man. We should watch something else, really. The waters are clutch. I love a nice cold water. Neither cold water hurts my teeth, Thank though. Thank you, sir. You know, speaking, transitioning to the, t- the teeth topic, because I know Dan will probably highlight this section. Mm-hmm. Sensodyne. You're supposed to use that toothpaste if you have sensitive teeth. I've been using that toothpaste for a while. It has not helped my teeth. I don't have sensitive teeth. I have well, sensitive it's, it's, I don't think it's that it helps your teeth. I think it just prevent because once your teeth start to go mm. you can't like fix them they just become milk yeah milk <laughs> like, like, there's nothing you can it's not like using sensodyne makes your teeth less sensitive it's that if your teeth are sensitive using sensodyne won't make them more sensitive if i'm so it kind of just doesn't provide doesn't provoke yeah, it like to a lot of like the, some of like some is. of the other ones are like more acidic or whatever it is yeah because i was told if you have sensitive teeth because uh cold if it's really cold, it hurts my teeth so fucking bad. Mm-hmm. I'm the same way. And so I was told to use Sensodyne for that problem, that it was going to be like, oh, well, if you use Sensodyne, then you could eventually, you know, drink really cold liquids. Because I fucking hate cold water. If it's too cold... Yeah, I don't drink. I can't do it. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm an, the same way with the Sensodyne. I teeth. would say I like room temperature, but I prefer a little colder than room temperature. So I don't need it freezing, but I yeah, need like, like fresh out the freezer, no way. Yeah, no, I need like AC temperature. Not even like putting like ice in my water. No, I don't put ice I mean, in my I water. Catch you putting ice in my water. Um, I fucking hate when you go out and they do that. Mm-hmm. I'm always like, no ice. You scooping that shit out? Yeah, fucking. Mm-hmm. Getting the like fingers, fucking getting, a couple get them all the way yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. Going down from the one yeah. at the bottom. <laughs> just chewing on the fucking ice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the water, just leave the ice. No, but it, it gets too cold. I can't stand that shit. I really can't. It just hurts my fucking teeth. I'm I'm a uh, so I tried Sensodyne. I don't think it worked, man. I think they're lying. Nine out of ten dentists do I not. Knew, I want to talk to the one. Yeah. I want to talk to. I want to talk to. I gotta one. know what he knows. You know what? When Dan gets here, we'll talk about dental stuff. You think we'll he's the Dan. one dentist? He's not the one dentist, no, bro. He's definitely the. He's, he's, he's the guy leading he's one and nine. Bro. He's the guy leading the house. That's how one and an nine. advocate for toothpaste. I know it's great. A big dentist he's arguing with the guy. <laughs> Big dentist guy, that guy. He's arguing with the one guy that's not yeah, part right. of the nine and ten, bro. That's <laughs> they, what got, he's, they got that dude in the chair, bro. That's They're more yelling position. at him. By the way, shout out Dan. Yesterday was his birthday. We had a nice party. Yeah, we had a good time. Um, you missed it when you left. Oh Everyone my! Everyone went inside, god. and it became a fucking jungle gym. Oh my god! Well, I was crying. Dude. I don't think I've laughed that hard in a really long dude, time. Dude, everyone was just being a monkey, dude. It was hilarious. Fucking Dan breaking dude. a ladle. Dan was smacking people with a ladle, and it just snapped in half. Bent the wooden spoon. And <laughs> he bent a wooden spoon, bro. Smacking people with a spoon, it bent. And that dude came downstairs with a different outfit than he had outside. <laughs> yeah. Is that why you sent today yeah. turned into a JG? <laughs> what? You texted me today. We were like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I left early. And you were oh, like, you know oh, yeah, JG? turned into a JG. I forgot you I was like, what the fuck is a JG? That's Jungle. League of Legends talk. I just talk. gave up. That's a League of Legends <laughs> yeah, talk. I'm know. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said that. I, you know what's funny? Jungle. I sent that, and I was like, I don't think he's going to understand what no. JG, JG I, I is. I didn't even acknowledge That's that. Jungle. Okay. Jungle it's is ter- jungler. Yeah, it was okay. Scott eating fucking... Off the floor, bro. No, no. Nasty motherfucker, bro. He was eating with the fucking broken ladle. Yeah, the potato salad, bro. He fucking... I watched him take the serving spoon in the honey mustard and just stick it in his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> just a spoonful of honey mustard. Oh, the spoonful, bro. It's just the whole... This dude, Laura, was eating just... He you took know. off the chicken and the meat of oh, the yeah, sandwich and was just dipping bread in honey mustard, bro. Oh. I go, no, bro, he took the chicken out of the sandwich. Did he? Yeah, he took the chicken. He left the bread. He said, fuck this. No, this dude's a clown, dude. It was so funny. This guy was on the floor eventually. Um, Marco had me crying, bro. Vin, they were eating all of his peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, all bro. All the un- uncrustables. Vin, Vin kept going in for more. He kept, he kept handing them out like 
trick or treat. Bro, it Snacks. was fucking hilarious. He was like, you want one? You want one? So fucking funny, dude. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it, bro. No, Murph started go, wrestling bro. Dan. I, I think was Vin recorded a lot of it. Huh? Vin. He recorded Vin recorded at least 20 minutes of content right there. Oh, boy. Which dude, we would be on so our Patreon. Funny. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> that shit was so funny. Dude, I love simple nights like that. Mm-hmm. I love going out. But Dan's the other basement's me, a classic. Bro. I love Dan's just basement meeting is a up with you guys, going into a home or something, and just drinking and hanging out. Not even drinking, just fucking hanging out, dude. We could do anything. I'll have a fucking blast. It's so simple. Mm-hmm. You know, I just feel like that's like the kind of things we did when we were younger. Yeah. You know, and that Dan's shit, basement, that shit was dope. It's a classic. It's a classic. We made it in Minecraft. I've, I've blacked out. We did make it in <laughs> we Minecraft. We made it in Minecraft, bro. <laughs> we made, we Dan's, made basement. Dan's basement in Minecraft, bro. <laughs> Dude, I blacked out on that floor so many times, bro. I blacked out on so that floor too. So many times. So fucking funny, dude. What's oh. Remember when you picked him up in a trash can? Yes, I do remember dude, that. that tra- the trash and man. And I'm that, the garbage. And that video got on Barstool Sports. Yep. Oh, did it really? Yeah, yeah you don't, don't remember? remember that. You don't remember that? I wish we would have recorded it off of Barstool Sports. Someone's gotta have. I had it. a couple. I had nah. a couple videos get onto like those stupid party. You pages. had two. Yeah, I had one on like Darty. I had one on I guess Barstool now. I think there was another yeah, one. I was no, on. I think you had the Barstool one and then the frat one. There was like a frat it's page. Total frat move. Total frat move. I think. Was I on that? I don't even know. Which you one were was on. That? That was it, you were on one for sliding down. I don't remember what you slid down and what you were doing. Oh, the railing. Yeah. At John's oh, house. Into yeah. The fucking bucket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking slammed the bucket. Just split. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had that, and then the other one was picking up Matt in a trash bag, mm-hmm. and that shit was hilarious, bro. Yeah, I'm kind of a prime menu, dude. <laughs> Bring I'm, it back, I'm man. Where up. did nah, it nah. go? Done, you know what bro. it is? You just need to go on a vacation. No, it's done, bro. I think we go on a vacation. You'll do it because yeah. you don't have to go to work. You don't have to go home. You're not going to Puerto Rico, right? I'm gonna try. I'm. Not. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can. I unfortunately, I'm not. You gonna go to Puerto Rico? I want to. I am not. I want to go. <sighs> I was debating it. I would if I. I would if. But no. I was really I gotta see if I can it. get the days off. That's all it is. Because it's really not that expensive. No. It's like 150 bucks, 200 dollars to go to Puerto Rico, which is not bad. And it's just Scott. Scott's the only guy going. Yeah, I, I don't want to go with Scott. If Scott wasn't going, I'd be on that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, Scott knows. I was originally planning on going, but then he changed the date, and then I said, "Yeah, I can't do it now." Oh. So. It's, who's gonna watch Geese, bro? That's a band. Um, so Puerto Rico. Definitely want to try that sometime, only because I love a nice local tropical ca- vacation. We have, I honestly, we gotta, we've never gone international. We gotta we've do a cruise, bro. A, a, a cruise is lit. I want to do a cruise. A cruise is fun, dude. A cruise is fun. We should we pick one out? We should pick go. A date. I went. I went on a cruise to Bermuda like seven years ago or some shit like I that. Wanted, me too. Yo, me too. I was on the same cruise. Fire, bro. No, you weren't. It yeah, was I wasn't. Fire, bro. No, you but. wasn't there, bro. <laughs> Me, you I was there. swimming behind. You would have heard about me. I was, wasn't swimming, there. I was swimming behind the cruise. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had a fucking blast, bro. That shit I went was awesome. on a, a cruise to Bermuda as well. The water is you can't oh, beat that. Oh, it's insane, bro. You it's can't insane. Beat that. Like you can see, like once you get like out of like the New York area, you can see the color change. Yeah, like you literally see like the a, water change. It's like change. a line. Yeah, there's it's a insane. literal line. It's as if you played like Pokemon. And you go surfing in Pokemon. And you go to like the deeper water. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like that. And it's then when you actually get into Bermuda, it's like you've crystal. never seen you've never seen water that color. You can see forty meters under. You can see, you see straight down, bro. Straight down. It's insane. You see every fish, every living everything, thing. dude. Coral. It's fucking crazy. Gas. I would like to go tropical. We, we, we should. I went, a lot of I went to uh, Florida, bah- Bahamas, and then I went to, I think, it's, uh, Private Island for by uh, the Royal Caribbean's Private Island. Okay. So we did, so it was three stops. Phenomenal. Sick. Dude. Bermuda was gorgeous. Bermuda we walked around, so went out to eat. gorgeous, bro. Yeah, we jo- enjoyed it. We, now, um, you don't get a lot of time. You get like, like eight hours, maybe. Like you know, yeah, you get like. Yeah, you get like a day there. Yeah, and it's sick. Dude, we fucking went. We got off the boat. And rented a smaller boat, just like like a like a little bro like boat yeah. with like a motor and shit. Yeah, and we were just you just fucking driving around all these like little tiny fucking islands and shit. Just got booze on the boat. Like we pulled the boat up to an island at like the dock, fucking mm. slammed into the dock because we were all hammered driving this boat. Holy shit! And then uh, we fucking got out. We go get fucking sandwiches. We go back on the dude. So much the fucking last fun. Last time I went on a cruise, I think it was to. Uh, Wherever Atlanta, Jamaica, Jamaica, yeah, fire. We stop in Florida. We stopped in Florida, and my mom does like the whole packages through like Costco and stuff. So you mm. get like little ex 
Do one on the Costco Ooh. cruise. Yeah, dude, Let's fucking dude, go. It was great. It was, it was great. Let's Week, go. Bro. The Costco you get like little. Cruise. You get like little like. You open the fridge. The little rotisserie on. chickens in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut up. You go on like little expeditions to go on, like when you get to the yeah. places. So I like, went a uh, coral reef snork- snorkeling. Yeah, so like I did. The, I did the rainbow when we reef. Went to, when we went to was Florida, me, my dad, my brother, cousin, and my uncle went to like an alligator farm in Florida, and then when we got to. I don't. Maybe there might have been another stop. I don't remember, but I remember going uh, rafting, like two person rafting. Yeah, and the then kayaking. Uh, yeah, kayaking, and then did the whole swim with the dolphins thing. Too. Swam with a dolphin? Hell yeah! Shit was fire. Was it? Hell yeah! What do you do? I don't know. You just you just hold on to it and, it's, and, it's, and it, it pushes you. Like you put your foot on its snout and it pushes you. Whoa! Oh, that sounds awesome. awesome. It was awesome. You just foot fucking in the front. It's is okay. It's like it? out in the ocean or is it like no, a pool? No, it's like in no, a pool. It's like oh, a pool. okay. Kinda and you put up. your foot in front. Yeah, right. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, now you think about it. You're fucking asshole, honestly. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck you, dolphin. <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> no. And then, um, because I thought that you hold on to it and then it no. swims with you on it. Well, it depends on the place, I guess. I don't know. But when I went. It was like just keep your feet together and it'll just push you. And it's you felt that thing fucking just go. Really? Yeah, yeah, those things move, bro. How far does it push you? Ooh. Can you make it back home? No. Ah, oh, not far. Bro, it's in a pool. Yeah, I know, but maybe it'll go through the land. <laughs> you know, it and picks shit, you, you up, know? brings you <laughs> over, <laughs> carries you over. over. <laughs> <laughs> Puts on a hat, the driver, <laughs> <laughs> a little little peacoat. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking great, dude. No, that's that's a that's dope. What do they feel like? Slimy. Slimy. The gotta be slimy. It's like a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Mammal. It's just, do they have hair? Mammals. I know it's like a fish, though. Dolphins slimy. are mammals? Yes. They have hair? No, they no, have but lungs. They have breathe oxygen. They breathe I, I don't breathe. think it's. I thought a mammal was anything with hair. No. no. Anything that breathes oxygen. Name one mammal that doesn't have hair that isn't a dolphin. Think about it. Mammals are naked mole rat? <laughs> Wait. Naked, naked mole rat? Is that a mammal? Fuck. There's a mammal, it's a yeah. mole rat. What are the categories of mammals? Shit. Yo, if anyone's out there and knows anyway, me, any mammalian expert, any, any mammal experts, bro. This kid got to go no, back No, because that's, that's what I was always told, that mammals are, are anything well, that I has there's hair. A, there's a couple no. exceptions. Well, I don't even know about exceptions, but like there's a couple criteria. Anything that breeds mm. oxygen. That's not true. No, it's not true. I don't think that's like, true. Fish, fish can breathe oxygen. But dolphins no, they are mammals. breathe. T- turtles. Turtles can breathe. Turtles they're not are, fish, I know, but they're what? Uh, turtles are a little bit of both. They're reptiles. Ah, uh, that's right. They are reptile. Reptile. Turtles are reptiles. Okay. Okay. We're learning here, guys. This is good. This is good. The reptiles. But like back to like the main thing. Cruises are sick. Yeah. I went on it. They have a crane machine that you can win dot money. The stacks of money. Okay. My first try. Show me the video. I showed you the video. My first try. I grab it, I grab a stack, I accidentally grab two stacks, and they fall right on me, and I made $200 that day. Let's fucking go. It was so sick. After that, I spent about $100 trying to grab another one. <laughs> <laughs> but I was up. I was up. There you go. And um, So my girlfriend at the time, she would get seasick. Not seasick, but she couldn't handle the motion. It only got bad. Me. It only got bad once, really, where I was kind of like, "Oh, I w- it wasn't bad." Like I'm fucking flying, but it was like, um, like you could, like you had to balance yourself mm-hmm. out a little bit. I never really noticed that. The only time I noticed I that the boat I was moving, either. there was a fucking pool table on the boat. I was like, "Oh, sick, dude, let's play pool." And then I go to play pool, and I realize the balls are fucking rolling everywhere. <sighs> I'm like, oh, what the fuck is the point of this thing? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Why did they even put this on nah, a boat? They had ping pong where I was, and they had a ping pong tournament, and I joined. I got smoked. I played ping pong every day on that cruise for yeah. like seven hours a day. Nice. I was sweating, bro. They had uh, they had uh, bumper carts, bumper cars in the middle. Mm-hmm. Great. Whoa, it was sick, dude. It was sick. Cars on a boat. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's crazy. The future, dude. Uh, we did the uh, rock climbing on it, and Whoa. then they also had um, in uh, skydiving simulator where they had a giant oh, tube. Fan and push yeah, up. and yeah, I went yeah. on that too. It was Gnarly. sick. And they had this thing called, I think it was called like the North Star or something like that. I don't know what it was. But basically, it's this giant, it's kind of, it looks exactly like this arm. But instead of a mic, it was a giant sphere. And you sat in that sphere. Well, you didn't sit in it, you stand in it. And it lifted you all the way into the sky. That's and so you just cool. got the whole view of the ocean. That's pretty nice. It was fucking was insane. Was it flat? 
I would love you to went up there. Was it flat? The ocean? The, yeah, the earth. Hella flat, dude. Flat, we right? really got to start flat? talking to some scientists, bro. Yeah, we got to really... Go. Yeah, we got to figure that shit I'm out. I'm sick of pretending like it's again. not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sick of pretending like it's not. Honestly, a cruise or a vacation would be nice. Tropical. I just want to go tropical. I guess it was just saying I want to before. do another ski trip. I We go... I had a great time do, on a ski trip. We do a lot of cold, trips, but we do a lot of, like, upstate or... I mean, I you do guys, love. We, you guys went to New Orleans. You know, you guys. New went Orleans to New was Orleans. sick. New Orleans, New Orleans was crazy. Was sick. Um, but yeah, we, that but video we've of you never, gas, we've right? never gone. I, wish I, I told you, you still got it. I told you, I told you, you still nah, got. You just need it, a vacation, bro. 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 Yeah, let's pull up the video. No, 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 I don't got it, bro. I don't got it. I have the video, dude. It's so good. We never have gone tropical. Like I just want to just go get a beach house and just. Walk right on Jersey the Shore. Everybody. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not tropical. Come We're going nice. to Seaside yeah. Heights. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. That is not tropical. We out to the freaking Jersey Shore. I do not want to do No. Come on. <laughs> that's good time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> where would you want to go if you can go tropical? If you can go anywhere in the world tropical free, where would you go? I don't know. That's 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 a. You're hard not thing. thinking enough. I'm not. You don't want to go back. You're not that dedicated, bro. Bermuda there's Triangle. There's a lot of places. I take this dude to a water park, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to go to a water go. park. You can go to Jamaica. <laughs> you can go to. You can go to Bermuda. You can go to Puerto Rico. You can go to Cancun. Water park would be sick. We, we should go to a time. water park, bro. I'd be so down to go. Lemon to Tree Water Park. park. Dude, dude, I want to go. I love. I fucking love water parks, bro. Um, I like that more than amusement parks. I'm terrified of everything, really, so it's really yeah, hard for such me. Such a bitch, bro. Uh, what I do is, first thing I do is I go on the biggest one to get it out of the way, and then I work my way down. I'll go on the biggest ride first, get it over with, and then I'll work, work my, my, my way down. I got no problem with roller so, coasters. I love roller coasters. Um, well, I'm talking about Six water Lakes. park. Oh, well. I'm talking about water parks. So uh, That doesn't bother me. Um, I like that stuff. The, I, not as bad as I thought it was. The worst thing I went on was the one that you just tie yourself and then you just drop. Mm -hmm. That's the only one. Those that are pretty wild. D d okay, so Those I went on that wild. one. I went on that one on the Nickelodeon uh, mm -hmm. one, and I went on every ride. The no, like rides the floor are great. Drops out from under you. Yeah, and yeah. you're just dropping. That shit's insane. So it's intense because it's just like gravity. Nah, I'd be doing a handstand on that so bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking drop down head first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I could never. That's crazy. Fucking falling straight down. So you feel it for a little bit because you're dropping straight down. But once you start getting that curve, you're fine, mm -hmm. and it's crazy fun. Because mm -hmm. then you're just, shoo, you just, and you're just flying, shooting. Bro. It's fun. But that first couple, it, I want to do one of those ones part, that shoot you into the fucking air into I the pool. I want to do that so oh, bad. Dude. That looks like so much mm -hmm. fun, dude. You know what it is? It's not straight down. It's like a slant, yeah, so it's, it's easier. Well, you know, you don't well, yeah. get that. You don't get that straight down feeling. I want to do a water park, bro. I fucking. We I should do a lemon tree love water park. Water parks, bro. We should do a lemon tree podcast. Well, water it's park. a little late for that now because no, no, it's not. It's we cold. Go, it's fine. Yeah. No, we're good. It's like dude. that episode of uh, it's always sunny when they, when they go to the closed water. The fucking that's so funny. The closed ride uh, on the yeah, water park, and he fucking they pour the one bottle of water down. And he jumps down. He fucking tears his whole back up. He's bleeding in the pool. <laughs> it's fucking awful. <laughs> but we went on every ride at that time, and that's why I personally, uh, I would definitely do it again. Yeah, I think I Dude, think I fucking love younger parks. me was terrified because I thought it would be way worse than what it. I thought it would be like a roller coaster, but it's really not. It's not bad, and it's it's fun. It's a good time. I love roller coasters. My only fear is getting stuck. On a, what, a roller coaster, coaster or a water slide? On a water slide, just jump. No, no, a closed one because I'm claustrophobic. Oh. So. So if I, I'm, my only fear is getting closed in like a tight, small one. But the thing is, when I went physically they're big. there, they're, big. they're really not that small. They're big. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know why I thought it was going to be small. Like the, it's because they're like dark. So it like feels the, smaller. Yeah. Do you like the tube rides? Or I love the, both. Both. Okay. Both are I like, great. I'm, more, I'm definitely more of a tube. The tube, tube rides are gas. Tube rides are fun. Group? Tube group? guys? Oh, yeah. You get like, get like four you dudes mad, back. Dude. Dick to butt. Flying <laughs> <laughs> down the water. I didn't need it like that. There's four different angles, bro. No, you, legs, the bro. ones where they're all back to back, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about like the four separate Stupid seats, bro. like dibs on the middle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll sit in the uh, middle. Dude, okay. get off me, bro. <laughs> dude, stop. <laughs> Tickle fight! Who wants to go on a toboggan? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> There's this one. There was one ride where you're all the way up here, 
and then you drop down this giant funnel. Oh, I yeah, yeah, those. yeah. And you go the toilet bowls. But the more people you have, the higher you go. <laughs> the toilet so bowls. So you fly. I yeah. love those. They're mad fun, dude. Those are fun Dude, we got to hit a water park, bro. We, we got to go to a water to. park. We, we got to go to a water park. I love them, bro. They're so much fun. We have to. I'll give a Sometimes fuck. Sometimes Find an indoor water park. There's uh, one at uh, the American Dream Bowl. Nickelodeon. That's the one I'm talking about. That's the one I went to. That's the one. That's literally the Nickelodeon. Like really expensive. Is it really? Yeah. No. No. It's fifty bucks. Not bad. On top of that, they just had an accident recently where one of the oh, things let's go. Just fell. Drop oh, those good. prices, yeah, baby. Let's definitely go. Yeah. So it's probably, tra- it's it's probably cheap as hell. I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> Ten bucks to go on a what? Yeah. Easy. They've got the um the indoor ski slope over there too. Yeah. Yes. Me, me, Kevin, yeah. and uh, Jay went. Actually, it's sick. Yeah. They have really all, yeah. sick. And then bro. they also actually have an indoor amusement park too. Do they really? Next to the water park. Yeah. Whoa. Nickelodeon. Yeah. I heard that place makes like no money. Uh, it's the biggest mall in America. No, but I heard they make like, like the no, 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 no. I'm sorry. It's one of the biggest malls. I in America. heard they make like no money. Well, I mean, look at the area. It's in no offense. Mm, I don't know. You want to know why? I don't know. Cause it is so fucking big. Yeah, it's huge. There's three floors. It's really nice. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous. Mall. There's three yeah, floors, really nice. and I get lost on every everywhere mm-hmm. I go there. Like it, nothing looks the same. Nothing. I'm just like, where the hell am I? But it it was a good time. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I went with my ex girlfriend at the time and um, the for Valentine's Day and it was dope. Then the next day, a news article comes up that one of the things that they have hanging fucking fell on somebody. Oh shit! I was so tight. It wasn't me. <laughs> I was so Get tight. Paid. It wasn't me, dude. I was like, bro, please. I went there the next day. Ever since, I've been there every day. Ever <laughs> <laughs> I've been there every you're day. Just, ever you're just standing and you're looking, looking at waiting, the, looking at the chandeliers for loose yeah. bolts. Mm. Oh, that looks like a banger it's right starting there. Starting shake. Starting oh, shake. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, but thankfully no one got hurt. So you know it is what it is. But I enjoyed it. They have a, a How to Train Your Dragon ride where you go on like a log. Oh shit! And it's not. No, it's not a big drop. Nothing there is a big drop. But you go. You they push you through because they have like um, things to speed you up, mm-hmm. and you're fucking flying. It's fun. It's it's not bad. None of the rides are bad there. They're definitely for kids. Yeah. And teenagers, I and would it's say. it's also inside. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing too crazy. You can only go do so much inside. But looking back at all those times where I was scared to go on uh, the the rides, the water park rides, uh, I kind of regret it because I genuinely enjoyed them. Yeah, they're a ton of fun. I would always go on the Lazy River as a kid. I just uh, sit Dude, there I love the Lazy the River. Lazy River's great. Boy. Lazy River's great. You just fucking just ball ride. out. The wave pool. The wave pool. Wave pool. Yo, wave pool there is sick. sick the wave pool there is the sick. Pool. The water's mad warm. It's mm-hmm. nice. Oh, but it's you know, pe- huge. You know people are peeing. Pee time. Huge. No, they have that the yeah, blue indicator, blue. bro. Yeah, there's a blue indicator, bro. No. You can't get caught lacking, bro. There, bro. No. They're going to catch you. No. Uh-huh. It's your pee pee time. No, water parks are fucking awesome. I'd be peeing in pools. My body won't let me. You. I can't pee in the body pee. of ocean. No, body of water. But you'll pee in the in the river when we go camping. No, I, I can't. You can't. No, but my body won't let me pee. You're crazy. I'm very. I, it's just like. I tell you right now, I'm pissing in that river, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be pissing, bro. It's just like um, I'm just pissing the raft. I don't know. My body's just. I don't trust the river. I don't know. I don't you like the river. To swim up. Yeah, it's I don't know what up. it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But I just you don't. Got a slow uh, stream, bro. Uh, I don't know what it is. I just my body won't let me pee in water. Like it's hard to pee in water. Like it won't just come out. Do you like pee I have in the to, shower. I have to, hell yeah, I pee in the shower. You're peeing in water. Pissing in the shower. Well, I'm not in water. I'm not submerged in water. You know, I just got water splashing. Is water wet? Pees in the bathtub. Yeah, taking yeah. a bubble bath. Yeah, I pee in the toilet. You know, I go <laughs> I in, the, in the I toilet. I physically I go in the toilet. Inside. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh okay, I'm in the water. I I can't pee now. <laughs> no, no, no. But um, like I said, like I just I personally I can't do it. I don't know how some people like without a problem go to the beach. I can't pee in the ocean. I, don't I have to. You know what I have to do? This might be even gross. More, more worse. I have to have my. I don't even know if I should say. Someone's got to hold your hand. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have my. Come on, buddy. I you have got my, this. My junk above the water, and then I'll pee, and then <laughs> give me that look. No, I mean, it, the, no, the, me piss, the piss is going in the same place. And then I'm go, and then I go in the water. The difference is dip like a couple <laughs> inches more. You're Should fine. I just learn to force myself to pee in the yeah, water? Just practice in the sense. bathtub at home. Yeah, just, I'm going to pee pee. Pee time. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, the way he looked at me. So he disappointed. Like, just, just pee. What is wrong with you? Just go a couple it. more inches down. And it's just like, I don't know. I don't pee. know what it is. I don't know what it is, dude. The ocean's scary. 
Fuck the scary. ocean, bro. I'm really upset that Fuck I went the to the ocean. beach once yep. this summer. Really yeah, I haven't gone once. either. I love the beach. And it's we had a, a great time. We had a great time. I made David cry of dude, laughter. Dude, I've never seen David cry laughing. Holy before. shit. That shit was so You funny. were there. Yes, I drove. You <laughs> and David. I totally <laughs> forgot you were there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, totally I drove. You. That's I crazy, totally bro. That's how he sees you, bro. You're, no, you're, 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 you might as well be an Uber driver, bro. I thought he was talking bro. about a different time. Might as well oh be an Uber God. driver, no, bro. No, 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 no. Oh, That's crazy. Oh it's all Did you tip him at least? No, 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 no. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. Yes, Matt was there. I'm sorry. Yes, Matt was definitely there. Yeah, yeah what was he we wearing? We played soccer together. What was he wearing? We played soccer together. Nothing, baby. He goes naked. No, no, no. But somehow, we uh we went to Red Hook. Okay. And it was Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook. And uh, Red Hook. That's what I'm thinking. My bad. Um, and it was a good time. And then after that, we went to a seafood restaurant. Like, and I tried swordfish. swordfish. Swordfish is good. For the first time ever. Really good. It's good. I didn't even know you could eat that legally. I thought that was an illegal fish, bro. Uh-huh. That shit is crazy. It was solid. They had a sauce on top that had chorizo. Ooh. My mouth is watering. Yeah. Um, my mouth is literally watering right Yo, what now. What are you dude. thinking about a little La Iguana trip today? Ooh. Did you think Yo, we went the other thinking? day and they were closed. That's horrible. And um, we were like, "Yo, we rallied, we rallied, rallied, rallied." Thank you. I'm forgetting my English. Um, <laughs> we rallied That's up. Broken. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> broken. Sorry, <laughs> cooking <laughs> yourself. <laughs> we rallied up all the boys. We get to the door and we grab it and it's fucking locked. No. And we're like, no. What are we gonna do now? We ended up going to Sophia's. That's a good okay. spot. I like Sophia's. Andrew's not crazy about it, and Murph isn't crazy about it. I liked it. Um, we me, you, Nicole. I love it. I had a great well, time. I, I really like it. Uh, I think Mondays, they have a buy one, get one free margarita. Mm. So, and I, I haven't drank a margarita since Jose Teos was good, which we're ashamed that's trash now. R.I.P. Jose Teos. Please fix them. Um, mm. Shout out. Yo, let us sponsor that place, bro. Please sponsor us. Jose Teos, sponsor us, bro. Please. Yeah, right. well, we just can, said it was trash. I know, but we can fix it. Well, I was yeah. about to say, we can, can fix it. Her. We can save her, dude. We can <laughs> save her. But um, we went to Sophia's, and I'm not going to lie. Their tacos. Oh, I can't believe how I can't. I cannot believe how I just said that. Their tacos. Yeah, dude. Their I tacos. cannot believe how. Their tacos. Oh, that's so bad. Their tacos are... um. They're not the best. I'm going to be honest with you. They're not the best. I got a chimichanga. Fire. Ooh. Chimichanga is gas. A steak chimichanga. Nice fried. Six cheese blend. Something happened upstairs. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something. Six cheese blend on top of it. Delicious. We're going to food. We'll always oh, go back to man. food. We love food. That's my fault. That's my fault. We love I food. I said like one. I'm no. sorry. I'm we love sorry. Food. Um, but there's a new, actually, there's a new Mexican spot that just opened up here on the island. Where is it? Remember what Camelot's was? I call it Camelot's because that's where I grew up. Get and Go Bagels by 48. Yeah. Okay. It's a new Mexican deli. And in the back, they have a kitchen. Bro, we got to try that shit out. You know damn well it's a good spot when it looks like someone's house. Mm-hmm. Dude, it looks like they cut out like a little hole in the wall. Barely painted it. Kitchen in the back. Fire. Got to go try it. We will. I like trying new spots, honestly. What's your favorite food? I was just asked this question a couple days ago, like ethnicity wise, or yeah. like. Oh, shit, I feel like we talked about this too. God damn, we love food. We love food. Food is good. Love How eat. can you not eat? How can you not enjoy food? You know what we should do one day, a food tour. A food tour. Just go to Disney. Go to Epcot. Epcot, fire choice. A food tour. You know what that is? It's a tour, and you try different foods from different places. Like it literally brings you to every different place, and you try a little bit of the food. Oh. It's fucking gas, okay. dude. They have. A food tour coming to the island in October. Uh, barbecue. Ooh. It's a festival. It's a barbecue festival. Ooh. $60, unlimited eat. Ooh. And you eat all. It's a giant area where everyone made their own barbecue. Well, like, like stands restaurants. And shit? Yeah, stands. Oh. And, stuff. and it's $60 to get in, and you get to eat all you want. Okay. Yeah. I was really thinking I'm about that. I think, my, I think my mom does that a lot. The food tour. Food tours are gas, dude. I don't know why we haven't done that. I'm down for that. Dude, we should. Just take a bite because you're going to fill yourself up. There's yeah. a lot of food. You take a bite and you're like, this is fucking good, you know? But I will say, rookie move, you finish everything. Mm-hmm. You finish everything, it's a rookie move, dude. Because I hate wasting food, so I can't. I have to eat it. But there's so much food that you eat throughout that entire tour. It's so much. You ever go on, like, wine tasting tours? Beer tours? In Nashville, they have a Jack Daniels tour. 
Whoa. you go to the Jack Daniels fucking brewery or uh, the company. You get the, fucked up. It's fucking crazy. You get hammered. It's fucking crazy. We got to do that. A nice. Uh, we should go to a winery someday on a nice day. I don't like that we've never done that. We should really go to one. There's there's one I've been trying to go to, but David won't let me go. Because I used to go with my ex-girlfriend, so he'd be like, you're not allowed to go there anymore. I was like, come on, group leader, please. please the wine is so good. But it's like a big ranch. It's like a huge ranch, and you just hang out outside. They have like desks, uh, not desks, uh, benches. Okay. And you just have a day there, and you just test the wine. Mm. But all the wine is grown there. See, the food sounds better to me. The food tour is probably gas. Start tasting wines and shit. I don't give a fuck about that. Food? Wines and cheese. Food? Barbecue, bro? Barbecue sounds fucking I'm good. I'm kind of sold on that. You know what it is? Because you're hungry right now. I'm always yeah. hungry. Yeah, my fasting ended at 12. Oh, I'm man. fucking starving. Yeah, it's gross. But it's okay. I can wait. Because I fucked up. I had a, I'm eating healthy again. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm at a net of two of gained weight. So I started at 240. I dropped down to 188, and now I'm I back. I went back up to 242. I started my diet two days ago, and now I'm at 235. I thought, I thought you were doing the group diet. I thought so too. I was the only one. No, you weren't. David was doing it. Yeah, David was. Andrew was lying through his fucking teeth, bro. <laughs> Dude was just munching, bro. Munch. I was for a while, and then I just stopped. I just I don't know what happened. And then people kept telling me I got fat. And I was like, okay, it's time. My mom called me a fat. I was like, all right. Dave called me fat. Mike called me fat. I was like, okay. People are like, yo, you're getting thick, bro. I'm like, all right, just say I got fat. Just, just say it. Call and then it I is, saw bro. myself in the photos yesterday, and I was like, I don't, I'm uncomfortable. Like always. I was like, nah, I'm good. So I, I've been fasting 12 to 6. And then, so today I broke my fast early, though, because I completely forgot I was fasting. I had a smoothie. So I take, because uh, I went shopping the other day to prepare for it. I bought. 10 pounds of chicken more so much fucking chicken dude i'm i pre i'm from um, meal prepping today later today when i get home i got that i got berries strawberry blueberries raspberries blackberries just a shit ton of berries what i do is i'll take a fourth cup of each fruit and i'll put it into a, a ben uh blender mm -hmm. i got my protein shake i brought protein again because i haven't been taking protein and i'll take greek yogurt as well i'll put that all into a shake and i'll blend it all up and some spinach Makes me shit like crazy. There you go. Got me dookie bookie pookie. Bro, I'm out of <laughs> here. Gone. I'm on that toilet for at least three days. Come out looking like fucking... Greek gods. Yeah. I'm like, wow, dude, that shit works. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been doing that. And I had that for breakfast today. Earlier than I should have. And I will say, smoothies do not keep me full. Drinking food does not keep me full. It makes me fucking hungry. I, know, I like to eat, bro. You feel like you feel like. What are your thoughts, Matthew Crowley? I don't have thoughts. I'm fucking fat piece of shit. shit. Yeah, <laughs> you broke your fucking fast. You fucking you fat piece of shit. Fat. <laughs> fucking loser. I was disappointed to hear that you broke your diet. Oh, because David was so committed, and it sounded so. Yeah, it's me, David, Laurel. Yeah, it's us three. And I was, I, I was for a while, and then something just snapped. Something, something inside, inside of me. me. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I don't know when it broke it, honestly. But we would, and then I just kept getting fatter, and I was like, "No, I can't do this. Can't have that. Yeah, I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this." The thing with me is like, I've never been like fat. I'm kind of mm. like I'm a little skinny fat right now because I haven't mm. been working out. But like, when it comes to eating, like I'm a very intuitive eater. Mm. So it's like, I never really like overeat. Sometimes, <sighs> and when I do overeat, it's usually followed by like a period of like under eating, bro. Where it's just like, you want to hear how bad it got? How bad? Some nights I just order a whole medium pizza, and cheesy bread from Domino's. I'll eat that whole thing by myself. Yeah, see, that's on you. So bad. That's on you, bro. And that happened to me last time There's I got really fat. There's nobody to blame but yourself. That happened for to me that, last bro. time if I got really fat. You're Domino's pizza and a cheesy bread. You busting that whole bitch down, bro. Hard. I'm sorry, you deserve it. So bad. It, it's the fruits and, of your labor. Yeah, and this and this happened to me last time I got really that's fat. That's crazy, bro. And then I, I thought never. about it. I thought about it. I was like, I'm right back where I started. And that's when it just hit me. I was just like, dude, I can't. I like, can't I could probably eat like maybe half that pie. Well, I I get the flat bread one. Oh, I could probably bust down that whole. Yeah, pie. that one's easier. It's a little to different. Eat. Yeah, 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 that one's easier. But it's like, if you're gonna eat something unhealthy, why make it? Why try to make it healthier? Just eat it unhealthy. Yeah. You know, but it's it's like a hundred less calories or some shit. I don't fucking know. What I mean, if you eat a whole fucking pizza, does that whole yeah, one hundred exactly. fucking calories really make it different? Exactly. Bro? It's you like eat an entire fucking, fucking medium pizza. Fucking just. That's like the people that get like these massive. It's big, like getting the munchies. Fat people get these like massive fucking meals and then a diet coke. 
What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> he, like, you're an idiot, coke, bro. bro. You're an idiot. Just drink the Coke. Like, you really that pressed over that fucking 180 calories? It, it was like having the munchies without having the munchies. So I would just eat that, and then I would watch a movie, like, in the middle of the night. Nah, you can't do and that, And I bro. was just like... No good. I was like, what am I doing? You know what you gotta <laughs> start doing? You gotta start playing Baldur's Gate, bro. No. Because you'll forget no, to eat, no. like I have been. Okay, I get home. I, I go to work. I forget to eat you my lunch. The problem with that is... I fucking get home. I eat one meal, and then I play Baldur's Gate until I fucking fall asleep. My problem with that is that we'll play until very late. And that's when I'll just indulge in so much food because we've nah. been playing all day, so I haven't eaten. You're, you're, and I you're too busy. Night. You're too busy. No, nah, I can't go to you're super hungry. Busy. I can't hate. It. I hate it. But like, like I said, right now I'm just kind of like, um, I'm kind of just uh going back to that shit, just cutting all that shit out, really. And I was like, I was like, what am I doing? I can't be doing this. Yeah, no, that's crazy. It's, it's no good. Uh, it's no good. So I was like, you're like guaranteed to get fat. Like yeah. That. So two days ago, I was like, I'm just starting again. You got your feet on the fucking table. Bro, what right is now? this? Is so unprofessional. This is crazy. I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna have to cut it. I'm gonna yeah, edit his feet out. Yeah. I'm gonna blur yeah his you feet. have to pay for those. I'm gonna have to blur <laughs> that costs feet, money. Like that's on our driving. other website. <laughs> yeah. The I'm just, OF. I'm just listening to you guys talk about food. Oh. You don't eat? I do eat. Nah, you don't be eating, bro. How much do you eat? Enough. There you go. He eats so much, probably. Big bad. Must be so fucking nice. I Can mean, you imagine? I, I mean, I kind of eat like that. Could you imagine eating five meals and just uh, not gaining a pound, bro? That's that kind of like so how, how I was nice. for a long time. <sighs> not so much anymore. You can eat whatever you want. Yep. <sighs> you can eat fast food? Yep. I did yesterday. What'd you eat? At Wendy's. Oh, what'd you eat for Wendy's? It's like Oprah uh, with I Drake and a, Josh right now. <laughs> an Asiago Ranch chicken sandwich. There you go. Bussin. Bussin. And a junior bacon cheeseburger. And a, a burger? How much did you how much weight did you gain? <laughs> you think, when you Say think, it. When you think the Zero. last Zero. when you think the last Zero. dude this dude stepped oh on a scale? You think this dude steps on scales? You think he oh even thinks God. about that number? Can you imagine? Can no. You, can you imagine that? You could just I've seen this dude eat like six burgers, bro. That's how I I mean that's kinda just, how I was when I was younger. Like in high school, bro. Yeah. Well high school I was really skinny when too. I was in I'll high school, bro, when I was high in high school, school I did not gain dude, weight I bring like at all. I would bring like eight peanut butter and jellies to school every day. I would have my <sighs> breakfast sandwich in the morning. Peanut I would have my eight peanut butter and jellies that I would eat throughout the course of the day and then I would eat hot lunch on top of that. Hot lunch, baby. Hot schooly. lunch was hard, bro. Schoolie was that, crazy. That, that free schoolie was schooly hitting, was crazy, bro. dude. Schoolie's that crazy. Free schoolie hit. I love a good schoolie. Chicken nuggets. Bro. Yo, I was Chicken talking with like Christine the other day. He goes, <laughs> I was like, Yo, bro, you eating the schoolie? He goes, I don't eat the schoolie. I was like, Bring it home, bro. <laughs> 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 Bring that shit home, bro. bro I'm gonna send you in some Tupperware, bro. Just yeah. <laughs> Hey, yo, I'm not going to lie. I caught him. He started crying, <laughs> laughing, bro. I caught him so good with that shit. That's yo, so good, bro. I love making people oh, laugh, bro. Fuck, I think dude. comedian at heart, bro. When, so when I make someone funny. laugh, bro, yeah, it you, just nah, makes me... you're a clown so, at heart, bro. It's you're so, it makes me so happy, bro. It makes me so That's happy. That's so fucking good, bro. When I get someone who doesn't laugh often, mm-hmm. when I break them, I fucking can't Feels stop. Good. Mm-hmm. Feels good. I can't <laughs> stop. When Nicole's in a bad mood, I don't mean to keep bringing up Nicole, because she's a good one. When I when she's in a bad mood, I get her to laugh. She goes, "You're stupid." You're stupid. When I, when she says that, I know like, I, I got, got her good. I got, I got her, her good, bro. She just start, she just start breaking. She gets grumpy. David's another one. David doesn't laugh really hard often. Yo, but when I had him that, crying, that dude, he was literally that was crying the while we're eating dinner, seen. just dying Love laughing, that. dude. <laughs> I wasn't even there for it. I just come back and I see David with his hands on his face. He's like crying. Just crying. Dude, we were crying laughing. Another good one is Loro. He he laughs a lot, but when yeah. you really fucking yeah. get him, because, because, yeah. because he tries to fight it. Yeah. And, but when you really get him, bro, he like he, he does like that fucking wheezing. Yeah. And he, like, <laughs> Marco's also a good one. He's Marco's got a good laugh. Good, Marco's, Marco's got a great laugh. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, like, he becomes like a Muppet. He fucking opens up, bro. Like the Canadians in yeah, South Park. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's the yeah. high-pitched squeak at the beginning of it. The- <laughs> <laughs> Gasping for air, dude. I love when yo when <laughs> Murphy's like, another one go. When he get a breath his, Murphy when he laughs his face squeezes in. He's like, what are you <laughs> on, bro? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Like, he'll question <laughs> what? <him. laughs> yeah, he'll question himself, Murphy. dude. No, the other day the how I got uh, Dave to cry laughing is cause um so I went into the water and I didn't have my bathing suit. So I had just my underwear and my shorts, <laughs> and I went into the water. So I changed to my bathing suit, but I got the wrong bathing suit. I got it from when I was skinny. Oh, So boy. I had the tightest fucking, it looks oh, like I was wearing man. like a fucking leggings. <laughs> and we're eating dinner, 
And before we go to go eat dinner, I put my underwear and my shorts on the roof of his car <laughs> to dry out. It was so hot that day. It was so fucking hot. It was like 90 something. So I go. Midway through, I go, yo, I think I'm going to change because I think they're dry now. I go out to put my clothes on. And they're fucking rock hard, bro. <laughs> they're fucking, they look like I'm wearing Minecraft pants, bro. This shit was square, bro. He was SpongeBob he like, pants on. Yeah, yeah, the pants that stand, you just jump in, bro. Yeah. So, so, da- so Dave goes. It's like from Jimmy Neutron, the yeah, jeans. Yeah, the jeans, <laughs> yeah. The bitches are going to walk so, away so on I get own. back and Dave goes, um, how, how is it? Are they dry? And I look at him, I go, bro, I feel like I'm wearing paper. <laughs> and he just lost it. He lost it. He started dying, and then Nicole started dying, and then Drew started dying, and then Tara starts dying laughing. And then Matt comes from the bathroom, and he goes, what's going on? And we're all just laughing so hard, he just starts still dying laughing. I started laughing them. because David's laughing. And Everyone Laura's was just laughing, laughing. so was hard, contagious. bro. It was so funny, bro. Laughter is the best medicine. Mm-hmm. Laughter good. is the best medicine, man. There's nothing better than that. But you know what is better than that? Amoxicillin. No. <laughs> that shit is the crazy. The Lemon Tree Podcast True. now on YouTube True. and Instagram. Make sure to yes, follow. Sir. Make sure to follow. I think with that, I'm going to call it, yeah? What are we at? We're at actually at like an hour and a half. Are we really? Yeah, it flew by. I'm not going to lie to you. An hour and 35. Oh, wow, yeah. And with that, I think that's a good amount of time to wrap it up. I'm good to call it there. Yeah? How you feeling? I'm tired. You look great. I'm tired. Yeah, we had a long night last night. We had a big yeah, party, big party. Fucked. But I will say, thank you guys so much for stopping by again. Yeah. Sorry for the break. We are sorry for the break. We are definitely still doing this. We love doing it. We have fun. We're going to try to improve on it. Um, if Sometimes we're going to have two people. Sometimes we're going to have three people. Sometimes we'll have four people. Sometimes we'll even have a guest. We're definitely trying to move up with this. We're definitely trying to learn, and we're definitely enjoying it. I personally enjoy it. I hope it. it sounds good. Yeah, We, I, we I think tried some new settings on yeah, the audio, so, so hopefully, hopefully it's less peaky. And yeah. Definitely not breaking everyone's eardrums yeah. with like screams and everything. Hopefully everybody can be heard. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, I we'll think see. so. I think so. I think we'll so. see. But with that, guys, make sure to follow the YouTube channel. Make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Make sure to thumbs up the videos. Leave a comment. Give us some topics. Give us information. Just come and talk shit. Come, yeah, come talk shit. Call come Fakundo by. Fat. It's yeah. Yeah. motivation. Card information. Yeah, so yep. just yeah, come by. Number. Just come by and Just join come. the Lemon Tree. Oh, okay, <laughs> join the Lemon Tree podcast and make sure to hit us up on on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. We have the Instagram page at the Lemon Tree Podcast. And with that, we're gonna wrap up episode mystery number because we yeah, don't we'll remember f- what it was. We'll find out. Until next time, peace, peace out, guys. <laughs>